What's up, guys? We are coming at you live from Miami on 4th of July. This is a special stream. The five-day immersion begins tomorrow, and we've got nine guys coming from all around the world to be trained for five days straight by me, Connor, and Josh. Liz will be on site helping people revamp their Tinder profiles and being available for demos, helping guys revamp fashion, etc. So in this live, I'm going to be revealing my Tinder profile and we're going to be breaking down each of the pictures and why it works so well. And we are also going to, oops, let me fucking hit record on our streaming software. Okay. So we will be reviewing my Tinder profile. Okay. We'll be going over what makes everything work so well. And I'll be reviewing my bio and translating the Portuguese. And we're also, before we get to my profile, okay, it's going to be the fucking end of the stream, so you're going to have to stick around. We're going to be reviewing six user-submitted, or I should say viewer-submitted profiles, okay? A whole bunch of people submitted profiles. I just grabbed six at random. Um, someone says your girlfriend is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this we're going to have a, a fucking exciting week. As you can see, we, we rented a mansion back here. I was going to do a tour on the live, but I posted a YouTube short with like a 60 second <laughs> run through tour. It's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Um, all right. So let's just hop right in and we will review these uh, viewer profiles first. Okay. And Liz is part of the, she heads up the rating team we have for people that, that join our AWE program or that are part of the dating profile maximizer um, add-on. She goes through hundreds of photos for each guy, selects the top photos, and she's very, very experienced uh, with, you know, picking what makes a good uh, photo and what doesn't with rationale, okay? So, yeah, we're near South Beach. We're gonna be filming infield as well, and there's going to be a lot of day game, a lot of night game. It's going to be awesome. Okay. So without further ado, let's jump right in to the first profile. I'm going to share my screen. This first guy is looks like he's from Europe. His name is Patrick. And we're going to let Liz, I'll provide some feedback as well, but we'll let Liz mm -hmm. kind of give a little more because she's more accustomed to doing this. Um, All right, let's get the part started. Okay. So, first picture. What are your uh, thoughts here? Mm, 7.8 would be why. Let's see. First of all, the light, the light is good. It's not awesome, but it's good. It's decent light. Uh, I don't like, because, like, you can see, like, he's a skinny guy, right? But, like, in this pose it just makes it a little bit more feminine you know what i mean and it's like this kind of like maybe the same background if the camera was like facing up, uh, up yeah now he would be like showing a little bit bigger more uh with more presence you know so that's why i don't think it could be like going for eight but it's very close okay um so basically the message is hit the gym. If you're not in good shape, right? Don't make it on full display that you're not in good shape. Okay. I mean, it doesn't look like he's in terrible shape, but it's not like the most flattering, yeah, flattering exactly. picture. And it's not a bad picture. It's not a bad picture. That's but why it's I should not give it awesome. All right, let's keep moving through. Uh, mm -hmm. There he is. This is him being in better shape. What yeah, do you rate this one? That's a good picture. I would say like 8.2 is good. It's okay. a good picture. It's like uh, the background kind of like matches what he's trying to convey so it's, that's a good point like the little bit messy over there so it seems like a little bit more chill but at least it's like um the things are like talking to each other so that's good okay um let's jump to the next one mm -hmm. For, so just to recap 7.8 8.2 mm -hmm. um this is without him in it maybe that's not even his hand but what do yeah. you what do you rank this picture and why? 
Uh, it's hard to say that pictures with pets won't perform well because they will, because at least it's like it's a pet. Of course, it would be a way bad if it was him smiling to the camera, like holding the pet or doing yeah. something cute. Just, funny, yeah, as a quick you know? as a quick side note, um, the match group, we're like right on the fucking water here. I'll show you guys. There's like fucking fireworks and boats and shit out here. It's pretty dark. You can't really see that well, actually. Um, but uh, what was I fucking saying? The match group says statistically that the top best three performing photos is guy with a dog, shirtless, ripped abs, and thrilling or adventurous shot. Okay, so his previous one that we just looked at, he has shirtless, ripped abs. He's got guy with a dog. What would you rate this one if you had to rate it? Um, Given that he's not in it, I mean. Yeah, if it's not in, it's kind of hard. But like seven point nine. Okay. It's like almost an eight picture too. Okay. Again, it's because he could have been in the shot. Okay. For those of you that joined late, we're going through six viewer submitted profiles, Tinder profiles, giving ratings and breakdowns, analysis why. And then we're going to go over my personal profile and look at every picture and go over an analysis why. Why it works so well. Okay. Um, this is in fucking Polish. Um, but he's got his height, 185 centimeters. That's really good. It's good if, you, if you're tall to, to lead with that. Um, what about this one? Mm, it's like it's a nice um it's a nice frame for sure he looks very very young so for some girls this would be like kind of uh not so attractive because some even like 22 like young young girls like from the early 20s they would rather like a guy like that's a little bit older but for this picture i would go for 7.92 as the dog picture he looks like very 7.9 yeah but it's a nice shot it's a nice frame of picture it's just yeah. because he doesn't look very and for um, for guys that are like really young i recommend lying up a little bit on your age just so that girls don't like think you're too like some girls are going to think this guy's too young especially since he looks really young in this picture um and the same holds true in reverse so if you're like a lot older it's good to put your age a little bit lower. What I usually tell clients, whatever you can pass for, right? So I have like 34 on mine, mm -hmm. even though I'm 39, almost 40. Um, okay, so that was it. What would you give like the overall profile, right? Like, I mean, you, you had a range. Overall profile, like. High, high seven, low eight. Yeah, high seven, low eight. Yeah, it's okay. good. It's not a bad profile, it's good. Okay. okay. And what, what would be your recommendation for the first picture? Mm. That's one. Yeah. Not that one, obviously. That or that. Uh, maybe he should keep it like this because, like, the shirtless pictures as the first one wouldn't be good. Why? Because it's too much of showing off. It's like it's better to be second, third picture. It was like, wow, it's a surprise. And it's not like, oh, that's my main future. So. Okay. But this one you thought he looked too yeah. thin. And this one you thought he looked too young. Yeah. But you would, you would still have him lead with that one? Yeah, or the two or, young or one. get a better picture, right? Yeah, or get a better picture. Okay. All right. So that was uh, item number one, profile number one. For those of you that joined late, we're reviewing six viewer submitted profiles live from Miami right now. And then we're going to review my own personal Tinder profile. Okay. And just really quickly, we have a 4th of July special 50% off my entire dating system. We have the link in the description for that. It's also in the pinned comment in the chat. Um, that's a huge discount. Okay, I know other coaches in the space, and they're like, "Oh, I would, I would never offer fifty percent off." So take advantage of that before that expires. Okay, let's jump to profile number two. Okay, user submitted profile two. So let me share my screen again. Mm -hmm. This is a twenty-four-year-old. Um, I, well, I love this picture. It's a lot, it's a lot going on here. I love, love this picture. Why? It's like there is a style showing. <laughs> so there is a lot of going on in this picture. I love it. Like, first of all, his smile 
it's like perfect. It's like it's not too much of like what do you okay. It's not too much of I'm showing your boobs. There you go. Okay. Uh it's not too much like uh oh I'm so nice, I'm so uh it's going no, it's not but it's more like um nice vibe it's like interesting it's kind of charming a little bit mysterious like the drink that's like blurry also gives a cool effect on the photo and you have like the trees in the background it's really really good what would i you would rate say this one? like 8.6 okay so note how like just like it's a lot being conveyed right she just talked about with the drink with the background etc cetera, etc cetera. like when we rate girls right we don't give a fuck if there's a good background i've seen them rate thousands of guys now and I review their ratings, right? And I have my own opinions too, but I don't have female attraction circuitry like they do. And what I've noticed is like the girls will give um, a rating based on how the whole impression hits them, right? Like for instance, if a guy looks like very average, but he's in front of like a great background, they rate the picture a lot higher. Whereas as men, if there was a fat chick in front of like the best background in the world, we would still think she looked like shit, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to put it, <laughs> bluntly so well, what's interesting is the girl like she's talking about the background here the fact that there's a drink in his hand what it's conveying and remember women have 10 times more white matter than men which is responsible for interneural connections social and verbal tasks and so they're being drawn into like the whole scene not just the aesthetics of the face okay that's an important point mm -hmm. so okay 8.6 notice how this outperformed even the the last guy's shirtless shirtless abs photo okay mm -hmm. all right next Mm, also like this picture a lot like maybe it's a little bit too much added you know you can see like the face is like kind of too perfect which is not a good thing you should like put some edits and try to be more um this is, to, this is for work no it's fine just uh oh, it's it's more, it's more um what's the problem what do you keep no no about? i'm sorry i got distracted but it's just like don't do too much additives in the face you know like you want to also like convey some flaws like because you know every human face has some flaws so if it's like two edits like mm, it might you put like too much work into it um uh, i like the pose i like the the background i like how he is smiling and not looking at the camera the lights are really good because it's like this hot light like kind of yellow over there um dressing is also very very good just because of the um, editing i would say like 8.4 okay next mm, i like this one but i don't think it's a good idea when it puts like pictures with other people especially if it's like just two people sometimes it's good for, but like a bunch of people like it's a party or some event going on so we have a bunch of people that cannot actually identify because then the attention get distracted, like to two things. I don't know what's going on with his eyes. I think he got like a little bit messed up. So because of that, I would say like 8.1. But his pictures so far are really good. Okay. Next. Uh, I like this one a lot. 8.5. 8.5. Why? Uh, like look how he put the camera like the same guy that we were talking the first time when i said oh maybe they should be like the camera should be uh, uh looking uh, pointing up uh he does that here you know the thing that we just talked the guy does that here um i like the background water always performed very well um maybe he's like um uh, trying uh, too much to be like sexual and sensual uh but it's nice overall it's nice right yep um okay this one mm. the thing is this is a great picture but looks a lot like one of the previous ones right that he's seen i all i always advise like to take different kind of pictures like if you have one already sitting down 
in one kind of spot with one kind of background try to not replicate what you can do is like if you have multiple pictures and don't yeah like one, if it's already good with the same background you can create multiple yeah files. don't use the same background and don't use the same outfit okay that's, a, yeah. that's probably one of the biggest mistakes guys make yeah even especially though especially the same background in different outfits even if it's different outfits the same background it's like you just look like oh what the hell was going on up there you know you like off the shot um <laughs> Sorry, people are like fucking blowing up my phone in Miami. Um, yeah, don't wear the same outfit. Don't use the same background. Lots of guys make this mistake. They go to the professional photo shoot. They have like one outfit change. You can only use one outfit per, per picture, okay, or per profile. Mm -hmm. So if you have like three pictures, one outfit, two with another, that's only two pictures, okay, out of the five you should have for your Tinder profile. But this um, picture is 8.3. Okay um and out of these which one would you make the main picture and why oh he's good with them his main picture he's really okay, you like the one he has yeah. is the best yeah do you see how the both pictures there like the second one and the last one are very similar it's like even like the way that he uh does his legs it's good because at least it's not like going to the same side you know at least it's like toward like different sides but it's still it's like the same kind of pictures you want to avoid that Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So that was, so, okay. But you like the order here or would yeah. you change the order? No, I wouldn't change the order. I like okay. the order. All right. Okay, so this is a solid one. one. And just as a side note, guys, you should be putting face app Hollywood Two. Okay. There's an app called face app. It was a huge fucking hack secret. Okay. F A C E A P P. And you should be using the impression Hollywood two filter on every picture on your Tinder profile and any picture you send to a girl ever again for the rest of your life. Okay. Don't just fucking take some random selfie and then send it out on a WhatsApp status or put it on Instagram. You always want to be applying face app. It uses artificial intelligence and it enhances the aesthetics of your, of your face. Okay. It raises your attractiveness by one to two points. Um, people are asking about sharing their profiles. We already have six, uh, profiles people sent in from the last live that I did. You can email them to me at john at johnanthonylifestyle.com. We might do it again in the future. But we're going to review four more of user submitted profiles. And then we're going to look at my own profile at the end. Okay, so stick around for a little bit. And for those of you that joined late, we are streaming live from Miami right now. Okay, we start a five day immersion program tomorrow. Where I'm going to teach nine guys along with my coaches, Josh and Connor everything I know about game, all my biggest hacks and fix all of their weaknesses and get them extremely good at the game. Um, and one more time, I'll shout out. We have 50% off my products right now with the link in the description and the pinned comment. Okay. Let's go to profile number three. Um, this guy, sorry, they're at the store, like getting all, it's okay. getting all our shit. I like this CBD pens and such. Okay. All right. Um, This guy, All right. I think he actually bought one of my products. I recognize this guy. Um, give us some feedback. And by the way, for those of you who are like, oh, is Liz just like a random, you know, just your, your girlfriend fucking reviewing this shit. She's rated thousands of guys already. She's she's put in like probably hundreds of hours at this point. Like each guy sends like 300, 400 photos. And she and there's guys that send thousands of photos. Yeah, and there's some that send thousands. And she combs through all of them and picks the best five for each guy, rates them with decimal points, one to ten. That's part of our eight-week program and part of the dating profile uh, maximizer service we offer. And she leads the team of the, of the hot girls that rates the photos. And she also helped write the guide that we give to the eight-week guys that gives all the guidelines for taking the best photos uh, with photographers. Okay, so so tell these guys what's what's good and bad about this one. I love this picture. I love this picture. First of all, he's smiling. From this picture, I would assume, I don't know this guy, I haven't seen the rest of the pictures of him, but from this picture, I would assume he's kind of strong, he's in shape. So it's nice that he's not showing off, but you still kind of can see, you know? And like the first thing that he conveys, like it's like a big smile opening. Like, I really love this picture. And it's like, uh, notice that he was like, Eye, uh, eyeglasses right and he and he's fine 
he looks beautiful. He looks really, really handsome. So, 8.7. 8.7. Okay. Yeah, cool. I like it. Um, all right. Next. Oh, this is his bio. We'll look at that after. Okay. Mm, very good, too. Uh, maybe should have more elements, more things going on for the second picture because the first one was already kind of flat. Okay, I'm going to uh, go like this to make it. All right. There we go. Okay, because the first one was already kind of flat. So this picture, you can see, like, he has, like, um, chest that's, like, bigger than his midsection. So we still are in that point. Oh, is he, like, strong? He's, like, his shape. So it's, like, um, gets, like, a nice environment. But, like I said, for the second picture, should have more things going on, you know? Like an activity, like maybe a shirtless picture or, or you know, some other elements because it's, like, very flat. This one, I would say like 8.4. Okay. Um, let's go to the next one. Oops. Whoa, this one's good. This one's good, but what is the problem with this picture? The problem with this picture is being the same set as the previous picture, which is this same background, right? You can see like the same like kind of grass, the same kind of tree. So... Uh, that's closer. the thing when you pick up the, the pictures even if they are like individually very nice sometimes when you put them together it's like oh maybe this shouldn't be here and that one should at least it's not the same outfit so you have points for that it's like different clothes we no what was your, what was your that. point about it fits with the others or it doesn't what do you, what do you mean there it doesn't because you have to consider the previous picture which why was doesn't already, it fit? because what's already the same background like uh, you have okay. like grass uh, trees is the same kind. So maybe yeah, look, so you same... guys, just so you are catching these little subtleties, some rules of thumb, don't use the same outfit between pictures. He didn't make that mistake, but he used the same background kind of, right? Like it's like fucking outdoor trees and shit. And then we have that again. Right. Mm -hmm. So you want to, you, you want know, a priority, right? Yeah, variety. You yeah. want a priority. Right. But this picture is good. You can see he has a strong, like back, it's like a nice guy. Like <laughs> he basically showed his arms in the first one, his chest, and the second one is. Yeah, and now you can see <laughs> even see the calves. So this is like attracting. Why Back is this chest. attracting? Because it's not showing off. It's not like wow. Like Andrew Tate and yeah, I'm chucking no, in his front that. yard. He's not doing that. You know, one thing is like you have one shirtless picture, one picture at the gym. Not like the whole profile on that, and not like saying, "Oh, I'm all of this because I have this body." No. He's like, he's walking, he's like, kind of, uh, oh, nice. Uh, so he's walking, it's like, he's like, kind of distracted, but not much. It's like, it's, I like this picture a lot, too. Yeah. A lot. Like I said, maybe it wouldn't be better, like, in his profile, because so far we've seen three pictures, and the second one was kind of flat, but it was still good. But this picture is good and as it, well. It's also worth noting, guys, like, all the profiles we reviewed so far had pro photos with like nice poses and all that shit. Imagine if the profile was just like whatever pictures on your phone, like a lot of guys' profiles are, like most guys. Okay, you're already like in a whole tier lower than all these other guys that are using pro pics. This is the competition you're up against. That shouldn't make you intimidated or it shouldn't make you like want to give up because you don't look like a Chad or a model. That's not the point. The point is, in order to compete at a high level in online dating, it is essential, not even optional. I make every single client get a professional photo shoot. Okay, that's the first thing that I have them do. I also give them guidelines and example profiles for exactly how to take the pictures and exactly what constitutes a good profile with explanation why. Then, as you can see, even when you have pro photos, there's still nuances. Don't use the same outfit. Make sure you're not trying too hard. Don't use the same backgrounds, right? What other like kind of major things would you advise? The light. It should be good. Good lighting. Your pose, like how, like your good pose, but not look yeah. like you're posing. Exactly. Um, like how your vibe it is. Like yeah. Sometimes, like just a picture, can you can convey that. Okay. Next. Mm, there it is. Um. <laughs> there it is. I was waiting for that. I was waiting <laughs> for that. That was like, you know, uh, the normal path of life. That was like something that I expected. Uh, it the could be better. It life. could be better. Why? Because he's already handsome. He's already really hot. So what could be improved here? Better light, 
light you see it's a little bit blur with the mirror over there it could be like more because like this picture now is like it's not that's not good but like the whole thing that you had about that mysterious guy that's very like um like not trying too hard now he's already mm, is he now trying too hard for this you know now you get like you start doubting about some points but here if it was like uh, I would make like some changes in this picture. It's not that I would totally remove a shirtless picture, but like maybe if you had, if he had like his uh, face showing more, that would be better. Better light, lightning for this one. Like not so close, uh, not uh, so close to the camera, just like in his body, but like more things going on. Maybe like some gym workout, or even can, could be the locker room. But I don't like this picture so much for Sir Shirt. This picture, I think right. it has potential for more. Well, let me answer this question here. Someone says, is the profile maximizer separate or is it only with your AB program? Uh, it's either or. Okay. If you sign up with the AB program, it's automatically included that the girls will, we pair you with a professional photographer and the girls rate your photos. I write your bio for you. Um, but we perform those same services independently. Okay. So you can purchase them separately from the AB program or they're included with the price of the AB program. To answer your question okay. uh, i think that was it let me see is there one more what the fuck is that wishbone yeah that's the thing uh this picture is not as bad as we might think it is why because there's like uh uh looks like shit to me no but let's <laughs> is that a dog yeah but you can't see a, his, you can't see, his face. It's, see all blurry. Face. it's all blurry but there's elements that indicates that it's a dog all you see is the wishbone yeah but it's but more yeah. yeah but it's like this picture at the same time it has a little bit more of um personality individuality and i like that because it's also not too posy but maybe maybe he like i said i think this guy has like room for more you know what he would you change here make, make the dog clear have him be yeah the make the dog clear have maybe he doesn't even need to, to be in the picture to be honest sometimes it's good sometimes not but like make the dog clear over there or make him put in some other elements. But I kind of like this picture. I wouldn't say it's like totally bad picture. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was thinking. Like a fucking <laughs> yeah. one that you delete. Yeah. Um, all right. So you, what would you, I mean, you didn't, I think you forgot to give actual ratings for some, for the, did you give? Yeah, I gave to that one. What was this one? Was 8.6, right? Or 8.7, something like What's this. What's this? This one's 7.8. So you guys, even though the guy's in great shape, the yeah. fact that it's a bit blurry and what other things would you change here? Uh, like we were saying, like his whole profile will convey what? Some mysterious. That guy that knows who he is, but he doesn't need to show off. Now he's showing <laughs> off and he's not showing off like in the wow, super hype manner. So that's what I would change. I wouldn't put like a picture, a shirtless picture that's not like kind of like a little bit worth more. Like it's too close in the frame. It should be like a little bit more open. Maybe he show like a nice smile or, or something like sexy, you know, I think would be better. Okay. That's why I would rate 7.8. I okay. think this picture overall like kind of destroys the mood of his profile. Okay. Um, see, that's why you, that's why you guys, you see that? I mean, these are some subtle insights, right? Like to a guy, we're like, okay, yeah, nice, nice job, man. You look in great shape. That's going to crush it on Tinder. And some guys might even, you know, intuitively think, oh, this should go first. And then you hear her say, this is like one of the lowest ranked ones. It's not that he's not in good shape. There's just subtle details and see how she's connecting it to the other photos. This is why I have an experienced team of girls rating the fucking photos for the clients, right? No matter how much experience I have in the game, like right now I have like 18,700 contacts on my phone. I don't have female attraction circuitry. I'm not going to fucking take all the other photos into account and, how, and, and the backgrounds and stuff. I don't give, like, we don't give a shit. Like when we're looking at something to judge the attractions, we're not usually taking in the background and, and a lot of the stuff that, that the girls are. So that's why it's important for girls to pre-vet these things rather than r rolling the dice and being like, well, I think this will perform. And then not knowing, right? Or, or being like, well, I must not be attractive enough. Maybe I should get in better shape. No, th there's these little subtle things that are being missed. And what Liz and the other girls do is they provide explicit feedback about how to change certain pictures to make them better, right? Or, or like, if you like miss the mark on all the pictures or, or none of them meet the cut, in terms of being good enough, we just flat out tell guys that. We don't sugarcoat anything. We're not just gonna, you know, 
uh, sugarcoat it just so the guy doesn't feel bad. Right. We'll tell guys, no, you need to go lose weight. You, you need to go do this, et cetera, et cetera. Um, okay. And what would you rate this wishbone picture? 7.7. Mm, 7.7. <laughs> All right. Let's look at it. Let's look at his bio. Um, adventurous guy. I love to ski, hike, and scuba dive. I enjoy going to the gym, running, and doing martial arts. Um, this is pretty solid to me. What did you have any feedback here? Pretty solid. Okay. Pretty solid. All right. Let's jump to the next profile. That's three profiles we've now reviewed. For those people that have joined us late, uh, and hit the like button, guys, to fucking show some love for my lovely Brazilian wife as we stream live from Miami uh, in front of our <laughs> mansion here. Josh is <laughs> en route. He's in, in the in the air right now. You he, guys love Josh, right? Josh arrives in one hour from California. Connor is already here. He was chilling with me in Brazil, crushing with me in Brazil. Um, he's already here. We've got two videographers that are going to be documenting everything for the whole five day immersion event. We're going to be filming infield, uh, both coach infield with me and Josh and also, um, a student infield. Okay. And it's gonna be five really jam packed, valuable days of, of pickup instruction. Yep. And we're, <laughs> we got to have Liz answer this. She knows who both these people are because I, okay. I make Please, jokes about them constantly. Between sleeping with RSD Tyler and Todd B, who would you pick? Oh, come on. <laughs> really? Why do you do that to me, JW? Those were my two instructors in, in June oh. 2012 when I took an RSD boot camp. Those were, those were the guys teaching me when, I was, you, when I was at 103 Lake Why do you Lake do Count. that to me? Uh, you got to gotta like choose. Gun to your head. Why don't you put like fuck Mary, it fuck and Mary kill. Done that there. <laughs> no, come on. come on. Just choose one. If no, you had I to choose, choose one, if you had to choose one, you'd kill of yourself. Of course, not would be <laughs> RSD Tyler. He's like weird. He's like too weird. What a, you know? <laughs> what it's about like, what about Sweeney Todd? Hot Toddy. Also, oh come on, is this <laughs> Sophia's choice now? What is that? Sophie's choice. Um, all right. Yeah, Josh is gonna fucking. Um, me and Josh actually haven't seen each other in person since 2015 like we we started our original company together in 2013 um we filmed a shitload of infield together and lived together in 2014 and then he got married in 2015 i kind of went out on my own and kept you know fighting the good fight and and luckily we've now scaled the company or i've scaled the company into a, a seven multi seven figure company um and we're, we're well on our way to eight figure, an eight figure company that's not like, i don't give a fuck about money i'm just, just in terms of popularity like you know that means something right we're helping a lot of guys um and okay if you came on late we do have a fourth of july sale you've probably seen it in videos or emails or whatever but there it is again it's in the pinned comment and the description highly rec highly recommend if you're looking for some place to start and you you have some skepticism that this stuff can work for you first of all we have a thousand testimonials on a proof page over a thousand, right? And that's in every description of every video. But these products will work for you very quickly. And it's a very low investment. It's $347 for the sale right now. Um, okay. So we're going to review three more viewer submitted profiles. And then we're going to be looking at my own personal Tinder profile, every single picture. And we'll break down why it works so well. I've never revealed that before. And that's going to be a huge fucking value bomb for you guys. A fireworks display, if you will, on the 4th of July. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> just listen to all my fucking shitty, do shitty jokes all day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Profile form. Okay. Let's see this man. Jose Ignacio. We've uh, got a 20 year old guy here. Uh, Share the fucking tab again. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. What's up with this one? This one, to be honest, uh, it's a good picture. It's okay picture, but he looks a little bit too snobby. Yeah, I was know? gonna say the same thing. It looks you it know, looks like a it's guy. Like, that, oh, I'm like, too good. Like contrast, contrast the the first picture of the last guy we saw that had his arms crossed, yeah. smiling, warm, approachable, etc. Exactly. This guy looks like he's trying to be cool, and yeah. this looks more like a pose, like trying exactly. to trying trying to look like a bad boy. Yeah, and then like you have. It's like, like hold on, know? real quick, real quick, before I forget the thought. It's like Andrew and his brother Tristan mean mugging the camera constantly. Like anytime the fucking camera's on them, they're like. 
it's like, all right, bro, you're cool now. You've made it. You've really done it now. Uh, yeah, this is kind of what's going on here. Sorry. Yeah, go what's going on? It looks a little bit too. It's not. It's not. Maybe it's not this person. Most of us, we are not the people that we're showing in the pictures, right? But I don't think that's the kind of image that you want for a first picture. Because, like, you know, girls are on Tinder. They're looking for some comfort. They're looking for a guy today. They're looking for something. Oh, that would be cool. That would be a nice experience. And then you have, like, a guy that's, like, you know, oh, I'm, like, too badass. And the background doesn't also match this. You know, one thing is to have this picture maybe, like, um, like in a boat, in a beach, in a resort, and something that's like, oh, I'm playing here, you know? But not like something so casual that you're playing. Josh has just landed. The eagle has landed. Woo, Josh! It's pretty funny because we both got like fully tatted up. Like neither one of us, mm -hmm. well, he had, a, he had a little bit of tattoos when, when we met, but like now we're both like covered in tats, a lot strong. We're both a lot stronger. We both are like extensively trained in martial arts. Funny, I have like a million enemies in, in Miami. I'm like, waiting for someone to fucking step to me all right um all right let's do the uh 7.6 <laughs> come back there 7.6 okay this one's 7.6 yeah. and largely because he's he's over trying over posing a little bit yeah um mm, also this one's a little bit confusing i was like which one is yeah he? it's confusing <clears throat> like you don't want to do that you know especially like if he, he's not like in the middle he's not like the main thing in this picture of course he looks great in this picture i'd say he doesn't uh, but you don't want a picture like that, that you have like other two guys, right? That you like, you deviate the attention. If it's like, like I said, if it's a bunch of people, you in there, it's sure like a party or some event. It's like, it's one thing, but these pictures, even if he is looking really nice because he is, this is a, this looks to me as a natural smile, like looks like really genuine. Even if that's the case, I, I, I don't advise having one like a picture like that. Okay. Yeah. So this it, picture for me would be like seven point four. And for the record, guys, like there's no girl in this picture, but a lot of guys think like that they should have a picture with a girl to show that they can get a girl, or that they think that demonstrates pre-selection, and they think that will make them look good because it's like, look, there's a pretty girl in, my, in this picture, mm -hmm. therefore pretty girls like me, therefore you should like me. That's like the rationale. Can you explain why that's not always no, good? No, the first thing that the, the girl is gonna think like, who is she? You know, like the curious part of like how girls' mind work. Who is she? Is she like, uh, uh? girlfriend is like someone that he bangs in the but it also looks faces. try hard that's the other big problem yeah but all, like the last thing that you're gonna think oh maybe it's just the sister mm, who knows but you don't want to put this kind of doubt like in your profile you want to make things easier for you no it's you not know? but it's not just the ambiguity it's a, it's the fact that it looks like he did it on purpose to look cool yeah in a lot of cases right yeah there's also the spectrum mm -hmm. um okay next Oh, there's a nice picture. Eight. Okay. It's a cat. What was the last one? Seven four. Yeah, seven five. And that was seven six. Yeah, seven five, seven four. Eight here. Eight. Okay. What about this? Mm, nope. Not good. First of all, like the room looks shitty, right? The look, the room looks shitty. Yeah. So this is Troy's sorry. picture. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry Jose. I didn't even look like the guy. The guy was the yeah, last thing. There you, I there you go, right? You know, I, I know uh -huh. how they fucking look at this shit now. There's this is a I'm this is a perfect like the, the bathroom of the and again, like it's that? not that the you know the, it's not the profile is unusable or this picture's not you know terrible and all this stuff. No, but listen, you're supposed to like hold on, listen, on the or something, listen to what know? she said here. She didn't even look at the guy. Okay. Should that fucking tell you something? Like, let's say there was a hot chick in a fucking, uh, we're having trouble streaming to Facebook. <laughs> All right, I don't really give a shit. Our primary uh, audience is on YouTube. Adam22 is a cuck bitch with a dumb Lisa Simpson tat. And he's a fucking huge pussy and he sells out. He knew Fresh and Fit was a scam and he hosts him anyways. Uh, anyways, uh, this should really tell you something. What, what I meant to say is, if there was a hot chick, like a girl that was a nine plus, and we put her in a dirty fucking filthy room, everyone would still swipe right if they had a dick and were a man. Okay, the end. Jesus. Reverse, 
She didn't even look at the guy's physique because it's a fucking dirty room. Okay, thank you. It's fucking stop sharing on Facebook. Who cares? <laughs> Sorry, everybody on Facebook. Uh, yeah, that's funny. The guy was at 100 lay count like a year and a half ago. Fresh Fr Prince is also <laughs> Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince CEO is is doing a fucking in geographic proximity now to that dumb fuck. Uh, doing 1500 a year too, right? Yeah. Yeah, not everything everybody says on the internet is true, obviously. Okay, there's no fucking way in hell that guy. I already reacted to his infield, or not his infield, his his date where he was with like a busted older four. And it, that took him 50 text messages to do a public, again, better off learning from a fucking homeless guy off the street. Um, okay. what? So better background is needed, right? He could even maybe cut himself out of this picture and put an artificial background, and that would do the trick. Yeah, maybe. What do you make of, besides the background, what do you make of the, the picture of? Oh, he has a nice body. Okay. It's, like, good. Like. Thanks, brother. Wow, Abe Shep. Woo! Abe Shep. Um, he has a nice, like, nice body. It's not, like, he's super, super shaped. And he's not like super bragging about it. It's like, hold on, hold on a second. Like, guys, like, okay, let's just address something really quickly. Okay. All the best guys that I know in the world are between 500 and 800 lay count right now. Okay. Indian PE is not even intermediate, he's like on newbie level. Okay. He had just hit 100 not that long ago. He's definitely nowhere near 1,000 and never will be. Okay. The end. Fresh Prince CEO is not 3,000 plus. He's not doing 1,500 a year. These are just all nonsensical claims to try to sound cool on the internet. Modern Life Dating claims 1,000 plus. How, how to Beast is claiming. These guys have no receipts. These guys have no fucking infield worth anything. And they're not putting up those numbers. Like Josh that's arriving is 800. Do you think Indian P is, is doing better than Josh? Come on. Use your fucking heads. Okay, I've gone through like lay count has been an extensive topic that I've covered and how you can judge that and stuff like that. But I know he just Indian P just hit 100 not that long ago. OK, so the, again, these guys just suddenly like 10x their number. They're like, OK, I'm going to suddenly think I'm cool. You know, make sure everybody thinks I'm cool now. It's like, yeah, you wish. Right. They're not suddenly better than all the all the next best guys I know in the game. OK, uh, yes, let's move. You. Let's move on. Yes. Um, future DJ, gym every day. Wait, this guy had some DJ pictures I saw. Let's see. Okay, what, what would you rate this one? Mm. Like, okay, eight. Let's be nice. Eight. Okay. Do you have any yeah, but it's not a very exciting it? picture. Do you have feedback? Um... It could be more things in the frame, you know, but like still like his facial expression is not like a saying too much. It's not saying a lot, but it's like just because you have like all the DJ stuff, it's kind of like uh, considered to be cool. Like I would say eight. Okay. What about this one? He could have used this one as the first picture. Well, you read this one. This one, I think is the his best picture so far. Why? Like eight point two. Why best? Oh, he's not like super smiling. Okay, you don't need to be, but he's also like uh, he looks confident. It's like nice. Uh, background could have more things going on, but also like uh, very minimalistic as his outfit. So I like it. I okay. Like it. Mm -hmm. All right. So Jose, make this your main picture and take into account all that other feedback. Um, all right, we've got, we're gonna review two more profiles and then we're gonna review my own Tinder profile. Yeah, all right, so stick around. Yeah, it's fucking hot as shit. Mm -hmm. It's like 90 degrees, mm -hmm. or it was 90 degrees. They might've cooled down a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. And it's like humid as shit. <laughs> we decided to do this mm -hmm. outdoors. Um, for those of you that joined, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Liz. Fuck Mary. Mary Kill. James Marshall's <laughs> the game. 
Alpha M. Kill them all. Whoa. Uh, the, guys, the guys don't give me good options here. Alpha M's too busy sucking Marnie Wingirl's big balls. And she admitted she has a hundred times. Um, Next okay. one. We are we are on the the shores of Miami here, coming at you live. And okay, let, let's address like things are just coming to my mind randomly here. There's like a lot of people that still believe the the defamatory narrative from Modern Life Dating that I fled the U.S. I'm in the U.S. currently. Okay, I'm not in jail in the U.S. I'm in the, I come back to the U.S. frequently. There's no fleeing to Brazil. Okay, I went to Carnival in Brazil for vacation and liked that there was a lot of hot girls there. And I met Liz and I stayed. Um, okay. And for those of you that think I, that like, I'm only doing well in the game because I live in Brazil, I arrived in Brazil at 1,179 lay count. Okay, almost 1,200 lays <laughs> that were mostly from the US. Um, okay. Yes, this is my girlfriend. Hi, Alonso. Um, no, we like literally like landed, banged, and went to dinner, and then did a live. Mm -hmm. So, but we're gonna be going in the jacuzzi after. Mm -hmm. um, again. <laughs> uh, yeah, we start bright and early tomorrow with the immersion training, going over all my biggest hacks in the game, teaching the entire system from start to finish and fixing all the sticking points and weaknesses of everybody's game here you go. let's see let's get her opinion on this. what do you think of all my trash talking mm, is this a turn on what do you mean trash talking basically like talking shit on all the fucking dorks online that pretend to be good with to girls. be very honest i don't like much yeah i don't like <laughs> i like when he's more because he has a lot of uh different not personalities, let's say, but like <laughs> a different ways, you know. And this is one that I don't like much. Like I like when he's more funny, when he's more like smart, when he's talking about like his beliefs. I like more like that. I don't. It's not a turn on for me. It's a turn off. I don't like it. It's got to be done. Yeah. No, she knows that it's there's a lot of fucking shitheads in the industry, and that's my own personal mm -hmm. way of handling it. And I'm gonna keep doing it that way. Mm -hmm. Um. But, you know, to yeah. my girl who I, you know, share sweet times with. Yeah, I like when he's sweet. I like when he's <laughs> funny. I like when he's smart. I like when he's, like, very uh, friendly and nice. And sometimes he's really good. And he's all, all of this. Uh, been instructed not to give those openly anymore <laughs> by the rest of my team. Yeah. They're doing great work. All right. Because we're gonna we're gonna try to get on there, I guess. That's that's my life now. Uh, okay. I don't like that they're you know sucking modern life dating's dick while I'm suing in two countries, especially after it was exposed that he allegedly broke a bottle over a girl's face, allegedly yeah. raped a girl, and allegedly Not cool. uh, looks forward to the day of walking through the streets sipping a latte while girls are being raped in the streets. I don't, I don't think anyone. Uh, can condone any of those remarks, but that's all stuff that he allegedly said in text messages. <clears throat> okay, um, we have two more viewers submitted Tinder profiles to review, and Josh is en route from the airport. He might maybe he'll make it before the end of the stream. Stick around to see me review my own Tinder profile with Liz, and um, yeah, in the courtroom. I'm going to win against him very shortly in Japan. That case is wrapping up. And then I'm hoping to win a multi-million dollar settlement in America. The depositions are in the next couple of weeks. And then the trial should be early next year. That's when we'll meet face to face. And he can, he can shine his fake teeth from across the courtroom. Like the cocksucker that he is. All right. Now let's uh, do these last two profiles. So we can then review my profile. So. Hmm. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> it's like a baby. All right. Let's, let's let everybody else see this. It's kind of funny. Actually, before. <laughs> it looks like a little boy with a guitar. Mm -hmm. um, before we bring that up. <laughs> 
we have our 50% off sale. You've probably seen it in emails and videos and community posts and other places. Uh, highly recommend you get involved in, in, in this sale, 347 bucks, which is like worth its weight in gold. These programs are worth tens of thousands, if not 100K plus. And I mean that seriously. It's like my life's work <laughs> dumped into these. Um, they will get you very good very fast. So check that out. All right, let's 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 look at this young boy here. Yeah, it's a young boy, right? It's kind of cute, very friendly. <laughs> but let's let's face it. Is he hot? Is he attractive to the opposite sex or maybe to even the same sex? Is it? Is he? That's hey, the I don't like, that we want to make. I don't like you trash talking this young boy online. No, I'm not trash talking. That's talk. a turn off to me. He's a very cute boy. <laughs> He's a scared. very cute boy. My point is uh maybe he is not like too um sexually open in this picture he looks know? like a pussy right don't say sorry. that but sorry like, we'll see this is, that's my way of uh, expressing my yeah but it's like it's myself. just cute it's just not very he looks like he would be a great friend and yes you, and you would never bang him yeah that's Sometimes, why i call him a pussy yeah. sorry for the word but yeah that's a bad word for you because maybe you gotta be you gotta be blunt really you can't nice. say oh it's really nice and really great and really He's a pussy. Uh, let's see if the next, uh, what, what would be your rating here? Uh, 7.4. Okay. Uh, let's see if, um, mm. again, we don't mean any offense. We're trying to give like yeah, tough, this is not to be tough love. It's not yeah. to like yeah. roast you or anything. Yeah. Because I just saw it. Yeah. He's copying my bio format. It's kind of good. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, real quick note on this bio. He's showcasing his height. In fact, he's an engineer that he's traveled. Um, yeah, I mean, that's mm. fairly good. Yeah, uh, let's look at this one. What do you think here? 8.2. I like this picture more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why? Nice haircut. It's all trimmed, you know? Like, even if his beard is not, like, very well done, but it makes, like, he looks a little bit older, which is good, comparing to the first photo that you saw that he wasn't, like, that old. This should be, like, at, like the first picture and not the second one. Like, so far, this would be the first one. But like you can see, like it's very close to it's like just his face. It's like a good picture to have in the profile. Um, hair was well done, nice t-shirt as well, good lining. Like it's good, it's good. Okay, so your recommendation would be to move this first. Yeah. For now, let's see the other ones. Mm -hmm. mm, it's okay. Maybe his t-shirt is a little bit too tight. Because now we have hard time because we can see maybe it's not like super muscles, but I don't like the background much. Okay, I think it should be at least more more interesting as a background. Like I would say for this picture, like seven point eight. Okay. Seven point eight. Okay. Yeah um okay the, next um it's okay picture but like it looks like too monotonous now now like you already start getting like that feeling of sleeping here because what's going on like you could see like the backgrounds are very similar like the same kind of ceiling too it seems like right so again Sometimes the picture is good by itself, but like when you put it together with the others, like it's not that good. But this picture is smiling, still cool. Like let's say like seven point seven. Okay. Again, the same, same shirt, shirt, the same, same kind background. of background, the same kind of light. It's like it just make boring, you know. I know sometimes you put a lot of effort for doing now, one photo if he, shoot. Now, this, if this was by itself without the other fucking ones with the same background and same shirt, it wouldn't be as bad. Exactly. But, like, having together is like, it's like cutting all of your chances of success. It's like, again, <laughs> if the person is very picky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If the, girl's very, oh. the person is very picky. <laughs> Some fireworks going. It's fucking going hard earlier. I felt like I was in Afghanistan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 
Maybe that's how RSD Tyler got 5,000 lays. Um, all right. Um, yeah, and it, and it probably was the same fucking photo shoot, but get a variety of photos, a variety of backgrounds. A variety of different lights. With a variety too. of... Um, Poses. A variety of lights. different... Outfits, Facial backgrounds. expressions, things going on. Okay. Um, all right. That was it for that one. All right. Let's. Last guy. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know what that means, babe? Mm-mm. Baseball. Yeah, but I under I kind of can <laughs> understand. Okay, Will. Okay. <laughs> All right. English is not her first language, but she gets it. Yeah, I got it. That's why having a a girl from another country is fun. Um, you get to fuck up a lot of words too, and it, ah. it makes everything funny. Um, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> so for those of you that join, I like announcing this in each picture because people I see people keep coming in late. Um, Turn these lights down. I look like a fucking ghost. Do I mean to turn a little bit off? Yeah. yeah. Just turn it down a little bit so I'm not like okay. white as fuck. Um a little bit more. A little bit more. No, down. When I say a little bit more, it's in the direction you're going. Down. Down. All right, let's go. Alright. Okay, right, move the chair for a sec. Let's show the uh right. oh. Whoa. Jay Waller shot me. You always got to open the door there, boy. <clears throat> All right. Uh, <laughs> hope I fucking run into Jay Waller. <clears throat> All right. Um, All right. Let's see. <laughs> All right. So to get everybody up to speed, we've now reviewed five uh, viewers submitted tinder profiles mm -hmm. everybody sent pro pictures like like nobody fucking sent one in that had like shitty pictures like maybe they were too embarrassed but it would be good to put up like a profile of just like you know random yeah phone sometimes pictures. You got really bad pictures but like hopefully this you know this shows you guys like there's even still like a bunch of room for improvement even after you've got the pro shots right it's like here's all the guys using whatever pictures from their phone pro shoot elevates you a bunch but then you run into new problems Okay, and you have to deal with those. Don't use the same shirts. Don't use the same backgrounds. Don't look too posed. Okay, don't have like, excuse me, like a shitty room. Like, don't have a whole bunch of people in the shot, right? There's other stuff. Like, people have like shots where they're like way zoomed out or way too zoomed in. And we have all this shit in our fucking guide when you join the A-Week program or when you uh, buy the dating profile maximizer, okay? And... <laughs> Fireworks going off in the background here. We need like a B camera. We have like we have like six cameras in the house. We need to. We have two video pro videographers here that are gonna document the whole immersion. We're in Miami live right now. Home, Ooh. home of the Fresh and Fit podcast. I feel so honored. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the internet. Uh, Josh is is in route. Let me see what Josh's ETA is here. We can get it on the stream live. Uh, he should be here pretty soon, actually, because he was getting his bags. Um, Connor, I would bring Connor on, on, but he doesn't want his face public yet. He hasn't made that leap. Gone to the dark side. Uh, Josh has no problem with that. But the immersion starts tomorrow. We've got nine guys. I'm going to teach them anything and everything I know about the game, fix all their problems, do lots of infield, already filming a lot of infield as well. It'll be five fully packed days. Um, it's going to be awesome. But for those of you that haven't picked this up yet, uh, this deal will be expiring soon. We have 50% off both products. Now we are going to jump into the last user submitted profile, and then we will review my personal Tinder profile, which I've never revealed online before. And we're doing that for free. And we're going to be showing you every picture and why it performs so well. And Liz will be giving like full honest ratings, even though, you know, that probably won't 
help the fact that they're rated high. Oh, of course she's rating you high. She's your wife, blah, blah, blah. But there were other photos that weren't rated as high that we rejected to get me up to the point. I have like, a, we've done photo shoots in like Italy, Greece, Paris, uh, London, Amsterdam, lots of shoots in Brazil. We've done shoots in the US. We both have, I have a Android Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the flagship Android smartphone that has like a 200 megapixel camera. She has the iPhone Pro 14 Max. And we take tons of photos of all the stuff we're doing as well. Not not for, you know, Tinder and all that stuff, but we end, just for our own memories. But then we end up with good, you know, profiles that can cut it on Tinder. Mm -hmm. um, and so we just have so many really, 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 really good photos to choose from. I wasn't always like that, right? And I also wasn't always in good shape. I also had a receding hairline before and facial asymmetries, patchy spots in my beard, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, you know, less tattoos. But we have a, a lot of really good photos for me. We're going to be going over that shortly. And we can uh, mention how we're going to bring Josh on the stream at the, at the last minute here once he arrives. He should be arriving within like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Okay. All right. Profile six. Profile six. Let's see what they have here. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> Let me share it first. Mm. We just hit the hour mark on the stream. We got almost 100 viewers. Make sure you guys hit the like button. All right. Here's profile six. And then we're going to review my own personal profile. Okay. Okay. Ruth and Bert. Great mm. name. Ruth and Bert. Ruth I don't know Thunberg. if I would put that name on there. <laughs> Do you think girls judge a guy by his weird name? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. You do? Yeah, maybe. I can't maybe see a Ruth, a Ruth and Bert slaying hot ass. Maybe. Okay. Not with that name. I'm kidding. Okay. Oh, come on, that Josh. Maybe. He's fucking stopped for food. But he'll, he'll be here in uh, 16 minutes. So it's, that's enough time. We'll right. still be live by then. Okay. All right. Uh, what do we? What do you? What do you have to say about Ruth and Bert? Ruth and Bert. <laughs> what can I tell you? That's not like. Maybe that's not one of your best pictures. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Um. Go to the picture. Um. Uh, it's like what's going on? It's like it, this is the image. It's like it's cut up too close. Yeah. It's too like close. too close. Okay. The back, the background's blurry. Okay, it's a good effect. Okay, it's nice, but like maybe for the first picture, not the best one. What about the uh, the the facial expression? Facial expression is like it's not telling much. You know, <laughs> you don't know if he was trying to be like um, <laughs> smiley or he was trying to be mysterious. You know, he's he, trying to be yeah. Ruth and Bert. Yeah, he, he likes. It's kind of like the middle term. It's not a terrible picture. It is not okay. What about what about this reflection in his glasses? Yeah. This By the way, you got You guys got to. Here's a little pro tip: if you have a girlfriend or wife or, you know, any girl you're with that takes a picture of you and you're wearing sunglasses and it reflects her in the sunglasses, don't post that to girls or on your so social media because they will see that. When we're on trip photos, <laughs> we're in like Paris, is like the Eiffel Tower. I'm like. Move to the side. Get, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm going to send this to like 20, 20 girls and they're going to be like, why are you in Paris with a girl? And I'll be like, oh, fuck. Really? You send a picture like that? Yeah. With you in the sunglasses? Yeah. No. Okay. I, I always check, but I'm saying okay. guys could make that mistake. Oh, okay. yeah. But who's in Ruth and Bert's sunglasses? Let's, let's enhance. 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 It's like, yeah. Uh... <laughs> like, what, a selfie? Like, Ruth and Bert, if you're on the stream, I think a bunch of these people are probably on the stream. If you're there, let us know in the chat. Yeah. We should have. I almost thought about bringing these guys on live while we critique them, but that, they might have. We're being uh, pretty blunt here. I don't know if they would like that. Um, <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> I meant to click this one. Um, okay. Any other comments on that photo there? Mm. No, not for their <laughs> comments. I didn't put this in first thing. <laughs> Ruth is actually a, a female name. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm 
looking for an opera date. It should be Anne. I mean, that's a, I'm a fucking grammar police nut. That shit bothers me. I automatically judge someone. Do you, do you judge a guy if he makes a grammar mistake? Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. You do? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. All right. You have to put an N after an A if there's a, a <laughs> word with a vowel after it. Um, also, what do you make of the fact that he's looking for an opera date? I mean, that's going to screen out a whole bunch of girls unnecessarily. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no. I guess mm-hmm. it's supposed to, like, show that you're cultured or something like that yeah but At also Prague. there's like technical hackathon and all the both it's like you know the things are not like it's there is no problem <laughs> loving opera there's absolutely no problem but, but oh i have, you have fun- to be consistent i have a funny a story so the, so there's this girl let me just tell like a, this is actually a great story i'm gonna take the screenshot for a minute because we got to kill a tiny bit of time for josh anyways um and keep hanging on we're gonna review my tinder profile in a second we're gonna finish with ruth and Bert there but i just want to tell this story in full screen so, uh, there was, I've told you this story before. There was this girl, I was in Philadelphia. I was driving, uh, my, with my friend, Mike, right. It was like 10 years ago. And there was this really hot girl walking on the street. And I'm like, we got to talk to that girl. And he's like, dude, she, like there's traffic all over. I'm like, I don't care. We have to fucking pull over and we're going to open. She's on your side. I'm going to roll the window down. Try not to be fucking creepy or, or like hollering. And just get her to come over to the car and let me let me fucking talk to her. And he's like, no, no, just go. Well, you know, it's too too much traffic and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dude, I'm going to be pissed at myself if we don't talk to that girl. She was like really like a 9-5 walking on the street. Pull over. He's like, hey, like, sorry to sound weird. Like, he, like, can you come over for a sec? She's like, oh, what is it? She had like an accent, like a British accent. And I was like, oh, like, you know, it's like freezing out. Like, what are you doing? Like, where are you going? She's like, oh, I'm walking to my med school formal. And I'm like, yeah, I know you don't know us, blah, blah, blah. But like, you know, we're, we're like headed home from somewhere. We've got a little, like a little, I, and I spoke a little bit more to her. It wasn't just like get in now, but like made her comfortable. And I was like, I can drop you off there. I think it was after I number closed or something. Got her number, dropped her to her med school thing. Went up dating, like going on some dates. She ended up becoming my girlfriend. It was like over 10 years ago. And I just thought it was because of the opera thing. Remember the, the fucking CrossFit chick? So she had, she had like two, this is like a point about day game as well, right? I mean, this was at night, but um, there's a girl walking on the street. So it's technically like a day game situation. And she's like, I don't go to clubs. I was talking, I was getting to know her. She's like, I don't go to clubs. She's on the dating apps. So the only way I would have met her is just by talking to her in public, right? That's why you have to fucking learn cold approach. But this girl was like really good on paper, but she's like boring as fuck, right? Because she was like in an MD, PhD program. She had done two masters at Cambridge. She had a little dog, had to go to bed right at 10, get up right at 6, had to study all the time, you know, um, was in CrossFit, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, she brought me um, to this CrossFit party, and there was, like, this, like, professor or some shit that was, like, in love with her. And he's like, so, John, tell me how many operas you've been to in Philadelphia. And I was like, zero. And he's like, interesting. And he's, like, looking at all the people, and I'm like, okay. He's like, how many theater performances have you been I'm like, zero and he's like oh emma what do you like you know basically trying to like make me look stupid i'm like yeah i'm more of like a club guy bars and clubs i dj a little bit uh how many clubs you been to and he's like uh uh but the point of that story that (laughs) that i wanted to make was that like i don't know me and josh prefer like girls that are emotional roller coasters oh my god who's like that not you right? no idea but like this girl was it was like flatline it was like not really much in either direction right mm-hmm. so it doesn't matter if the girl's like perfect like super hot super smart super cool but like if if she wasn't in bed by 10 it was like the world was gonna end or like they ran out of, of a fruit in a in a grocery store and it would like ruin her day and she like wanted to get married but i was like bored out of my mind but then you can find a girl like me and liz just like laugh about all this dumb shit all the time and it's awesome all right so you don't have to um even if you find a girl that like seems like full package on on paper if you don't have like the spark and the chemistry and all the fun oh. laughs on stupid stuff then keep looking, keep looking. <laughs> you will find her keep on a looking. tropical island in brazil okay let's go back to ruthenberg <laughs> ruthenberg <laughs> josh josh will be arriving in less than 10 minutes and you got you guys will witness our in-person reunion we haven't seen each other since 2015 
um, in person. We talk all the time, but uh, anyways, you'll you'll witness that that live. Okay, um, this guy needs to fix his English too. Down for parties techno. That sounds like those Family Guy skits they do. He's like, "Hey, bro, you are party lion. I drank a liter of beer last night." Down for parties techno. Looking for a opera date at Prague. Yeah, the whole profile is grammatically incorrect, so fix that. Put it through Grammarly. Okay, what, what would you... Uh, and don't say you're a computer programmer. I was a computer programmer, too. It's somewhat of a DLV, demonstration of lower value. You don't want to. It doesn't mean, mean you need to be ashamed of it, but you need to look at how society views that particular profession and see if that's going to work against you or not. You can reframe it in a way, like you can say, I lead a tech team, for instance, or say it in a way that's going to make you look good and still you know say the same type of job um what do you what's your thoughts here oh well it's a dog so dogs is not <laughs> dogs are always nice but the picture is really the dog really looks kind of mean right yeah but like the problem is the picture what is this on the top it's like the ceiling is like two down he's like in the basement what is that <laughs> you know that's why even the dog doesn't take this picture that's the truth what is he in a basement is what you said yeah, what is that? It's like a ceiling. It's like there's not much like color contrast either. Like the, the ceiling blends into Ruth and yeah. Bert, which blends into the dog. Yeah. And and the dog is like looking like mean mugging the camera like Andrew Tate. <laughs> from Bert. Uh. <laughs> any other comments? No. And how would you improve this? If you want to take pictures of the same dog, what would be your suggestions? Oh, a big dog like that? Why don't you go outside and take a picture of this big dog? Like running, him jumping or hugging or like uh, some kind of uh, motion in the picture. That would be improved. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a chair for Joshua. Actually, no, he'll just, we'll just say what's up and then whatever. Yeah. You can sit over here. Um, Fine. All right. Let's keep moving so we can... <laughs> uh, this one, he looks a little too intense. <clears throat> too intense but i'll let you yeah. give your feedback what do you <laughs> not a good picture as well not good uh what would you <laughs> what would you what would be your feedback there like like i'm sorry but the car looks like kind of <laughs> shitty you know i don't know which kind of car it is and it's not like, oh, all girls are gold diggers. They suck. Oh, I hate girls because they're all into it. Like, no, no, it's not about that. <laughs> it's about it just not look good. It's just not like attract. It's, it's no, I mean, it's attractive. like the same. Like, okay, like, you know, you know, she's just giving honest feedback here, right? So, it's like, honest. I'm this sorry. looks like, like, as she said, right? Maybe he's not in a basement, but like, it looks like he's in some kind of shitty room, right? Now it looks like he's in some kind of shitty car. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and, yeah. and it's not that you need to pose in front of a sports car or something like that. You no. just don't want to have things work against you for no reason. Exactly. You don't need like to to have like a, a really <laughs> badass car, but you don't need to to <laughs> to work against yourself. You know, like to do things. <laughs> the roof, <laughs> the roof was sagging in this photo as well. Yeah. Seems to be a yeah. recurring so it's theme. Maybe good. it's really tall. Yeah, but not good. No. What about his expression here? Wait. Yeah, and his expression. Say, wait, hold on, hold on. Don't friendly. Wait, save save your comments. <laughs> okay. It's not a friendly expression, you know. Yeah. What is what does this convey to you? Mm, it's like, <laughs> oh, do I want to go in a date with this guy? Mm, maybe not. I'm probably scared. Like, what's going on? Yeah. Maybe he's not funny. Yeah, he's I've I, okay. So I've I've coached fucking like literally thousands of guys now over over a decade right this to me like i've seen these kinds of poses girls actually feel intimidated it can actually like scare girls off if you look like you know like you like you're intense or aggressive or anything like that mm -hmm. it just looks like like we i read a lot of books about like emotional processing and like the amygdala fear circuit and stuff like that and a lot of it is like this unconscious response with this unconscious automatic processing right so if like and we're trained evolutionarily to like recognize predators and stuff like that, right? Um, so <laughs> if you feel like, you know, this isn't like a welcoming pose, 
uh, you know, you might want to reconsider. Like contrast, let me let me pull up a different one real quick. Let's contrast <laughs> that picture of Ruthenberg to this one. Mm -hmm. really quick okay look at the expression mm -hmm. and this has like nice background nice smile nice smile it looks genuine well well warm, sorry i meant to say warm and welcome at the same time well uh <laughs> uh okay let's go back to ruth and bert Josh will be arriving any minute now. Mm. We're supposed to get to my Tinder profile. We will. Uh, okay, Ruth and Bert picture four. Oh, there we go. Oh, Look. there we go. That's a good one. That's the, the best screen. one for Ruth and He looks and Bert. more uh, welcoming here. Yeah, he looks more welcoming. So, it's like you can like the leaning kind power of, of say, pizza. oh, maybe he's like kind of like uh, more strong. It's like there's light, it's daylight, it's like it's nice. There's no roof that's yeah. like even if it's like another head. guy, maybe I would remove the other guy from the picture, but it's like nice. I yeah, like you could edit one. the other guy out. Yeah. But it's nice. This one's nice. What this would you one should be his main picture. What would you rate this one? Oh, uh, this one he goes like for the eight, like seven point nine, eight. Okay. Yeah. All right, this so Ruth and Bert, uh yeah. Ruthenberg, change, like, yeah, change Bert, your picture. Bert. Yeah, Not Bert. remove all the other pictures, keep this one, and add new pictures. Add two, three more good pictures <laughs> that you have, you know? Oh. If you can remove that guy from the picture <laughs> as well, it would be good, too. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of <laughs> Ultimate Man Project's obsession with, with aimbogging. Aimbogging is like, so little of a thing it's not even funny and so many so many people like make it a giant focus um okay let's look at the next one mm. no that gives me like a dilbert the comic dilbert vibe like kind or like a hannibal burris or something like a loser i don't know mm. what what do you yeah it's not like great great but it's better than the other ones for sure yeah it's kind of flat but it's better than the other ones how would you make this better? Mm. It's like it's his style, right? About the sneakers and the ripped jeans. Um, <laughs> this less for fucking. Oops. Uh, is that Craig that you talk all the time? No, different oh, Craig. Um. Yeah, different Craig. Mm hmm. Uh, look, this one and the previous one would be like the only pictures that could still be in there. Okay, to be honest. Is it is it a great pic? Holy shit! No, it's not. Joshua's in but the building. Get Ruth and Bert off the screen here for a minute. Oh. Let's have a, a reunion. Now you guys are going to see this reaction. Ugh. Let's see. Oh, my God. What up? What up, my son? I'll hug you next. All right. Ugh. You're still tall. I'm still tall. Hi, how are you? When we would film in our original company, Josh would stand on a box. Because I was shorter. I would just stand like this. Looks like you grew. Yeah. Look at us now. How we've changed. We've put on muscle and tattoos. Josh was like, this boot camp's going to be a piece of cake. We're now jacked with tattoos. And we were crushing before. Yeah. Dude, have you seen pictures of what we used to look like? Yeah. yeah. I, was like, <laughs> I was like 40 pounds lighter. Yeah. I love this. It's honest. Uh... Right. Look, you just see one boob. Yeah, just one boob. But that's right. It. No, 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 back, back, bring in, it back in. in. What are you doing? There. Oh, perfect. Back so, you great minds think alike. Uh huh. We're geniuses. We're we're rating <laughs> some photos. Wait, let's get let's get Josh's opinion. All right. Does people people Josh? submitted their their Tinder profiles. I'll grab, a, I'll grab a chair. Yeah. What do you okay. what do you make of this one here? See, I told you she got a chair. He's using one of the uncomfortable chairs now. Mm -hmm. The one in the middle, <laughs> in the black <laughs> shirt. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Wait, hold on. And we're about to review my own Tinder profile soon. Look at this. What is that? Oh my god. Just set it on the thing, no one cares. Why are you flying? 
Uh, <laughs> I flew from uh, San Diego. No, where did I fly? Orange County. <clears throat> Owen. What up? Oh, hello, Owen Brooks. What does your shirt say? Supreme Sports? Supreme Sports Nutrition. So, awesome. Uh, every, time, every time you go in there, they give you a free shirt. It's nice. Awesome. Yeah. Hi. Say what's right. up to Josh. There's some real players in Miami, finally. <laughs> what do we we have like over? Yeah, no one was getting laid in Miami before. <laughs> <laughs> we have over 2,500 lays. If you put together all the YouTubers in Miami, they'd be at like a tiny fraction of that. Dude, I look so good. I was just on a flight all day. I was asleep. <laughs> yeah, you look I, face app. I should be face awesome. App. I'm IRL face app. <laughs> nice to finally meet you. Nice, uh, nice tattoos. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I have a bunch. Yeah, yeah, I got them so that girls would like me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's like no one likes me. <laughs> oh boy. But now they do, and you yeah. can too. Just we are we are uniting tattoos. live oh, on YouTube. God. Uh, all right, let's finish this up so we can do fun stuff. All right, let's go for the main profile. All right. Of the night because it's from. We're going to look at my Tinder profile now, and you can... John's profile. You can, Whoa. Actually, hold on. We've got... What's his name? Rosenblatt? I don't know. That's... Uh, that's is is this like one of those streams where they're like, we'll rate your face, and then... Uh, no. And then, we are not a black bill. <laughs> and then they're like, you're ugly. And then people are like, I guess I'll kill myself. And you're like, a dork on the internet told you you're ugly, so you're going to kill yourself? Come <laughs> on. Rosenberg, right, right. let's be honest Bert. here. You have a lot of potential, man. So please, <laughs> what is those first pictures doing over there? Come on. All right, what your, would you? Your husband's right here. Right, so <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I'm not Adam Twenty Two. All right, but like, look, listen, I'll watch. look. I don't fucking care. This Adam Twenty Two's wife just okay. got mailed out by a black. Why are the I know. I, I heard about it on the on the radio. I, was like, I can't wait to jerk off to it. <laughs> as soon as we're done with this, Nate, down, we're gonna jerk off to his wife getting railed out. Let's get dumb Lisa Simpson tattoos on her face. Okay, good Listen, points about the picture. Why can't you just mm. have your chick get railed out without people getting freaked out? Huh? Yeah. Thanks, Adam22. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Uh, what do you, you know, what's the what's the feedback here? Okay. Uh, <laughs> he definitely has, like, nice body, right? It's, it's mine. It's good. Uh, maybe I wouldn't would go for him? this background. Not because of the first pictures. The first you wouldn't bang him because he's jacked? Because of the first pictures. You Wait, didn't see the, the first, first picture? pictures. The first picture destroyed him. Oh, uh, they destroyed him? Yeah, God destroyed damn it. Ruth, him. Ruth and Bert? Ruth and Bert. <laughs> the least black name I've ever heard. Ruth and, Ruth and Bert. Bert. It's like, you have, you have Ruth potential. Ruth and Bert Cusper You have the a third. lot of potential. So <laughs> this picture could be still in there in the profile, okay? It's not gray. It's not gray because it's like kind of blurry. The light could be better. You have muscles that could be showing better too. So you got to do a better work. Okay. I'm natural. I'm not mm. natty anymore. Look, fellas. it's X uh, Ruthenberg. Oh my God. There's Ruthenberg in the flesh. I'm kidding. It's a oh. different black guy. All right. Uh, actually, this is normally a, a paid service, guys. Dotan. We, we don't just uh Dotan lifestyle. Is that your son? We don't <laughs> <laughs> we don't just uh rate all the photos for free. This is normally part of the week I'll program. I'll rate your photos for free. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm talking about. So yeah, you can sign up for the dating profile optimizer, maximizer, whatever the fuck. I can it's called. make fun of you for free. But <laughs> then again, I'm a giant. We we rate day. uh photos on the eight-week program as part of the service. Ooh. Oh my god, he's don't getting stop. turned on. Don't stop. Yeah, yeah. he likes that. Uh, John said I could watch you two bang. What? He said that. Hey, I oh, text. he said that. Yeah. So, oh, okay. actually, we were banging up there in the in the second floor, and it was it was on display for everyone. So all you have to do is hang out in the pool, and you can see that. I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> all right. in that corner, so I don't know. Every corner. Um. Corner bangers. All right. Let's look at my oh, yeah. profile. Let's, look let's at bring out profile. the big guns. I don't think you've seen my profile. Is it have you in London and you <laughs> in a rave in front of a big crowd? I see London. I see France. <laughs> I see Johnny's underpants. Mm. All right. This is my first picture. Okay. Uh, one thing, guys. I haven't seen this new profile because he's always changing his pictures. Yeah, you so, have. 
34. No, I, I've seen the pictures, but not the profile like how it is right now. John, you're lying on your profile. I'm lying. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. <gasps> oh, my God. You're going straight to jail. Straight to Tinder jail. Jesus. Okay, do you want to put the light bigger a little bit? What's ready? I like this profile. Oh, I like what this, is this picture. What flavor is this? Uh, this is apple and peach. It's really good. All right, give the Can feedback. Of course. Um, no, hey, this one. This one's better. Yeah, this one's better. Yeah. Oh, but this is five thousand. Give That's the feedback. Uh, five thousand. Five thousand. Everyone's it's waiting on you. She she would bang. She would marry this guy. Oh my god, this is awesome. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Um. I would say for this picture, 9.2. I, I like this I picture. I like, yeah, I like the picture. I like the background. He looks like he shows off his tattoos. And one good thing about this picture is he's shirtless, but he's smiling. He's not like showing off like, oh, kissing the muscle. Mwah, mwah, like, oh, I'm super hot. So it's kind of friendly too. And also like the background with like the tree and the flowers in the tree, like the, the red part. It breaks a little bit the flat part of the picture. And I, I have so multiple profiles. Really so this is like I lead with the shirtless one on, on one of my main profiles. So, mm -hmm. um, it, but you don't always want to lead with a shirtless pick. All right. Next. All right. Next. This Whoa, is, what a man. You look like me. This yeah. is in Paris. What a like man. Me. What a man. I, I was, I was rolling like with me. this, my main yeah. picture. For wow. That. This was in Paris. Yeah. This Liz picture this. is really, really good. Why is that good? Uh, extremely elegant, stream upscale. He's like comfortable. He's not being snobby because in this kind of environment, what do you expect people to be? It's not. So don't do that. Like um, he's smiling, nice suit, like sitting down. So it's a different, like uh, different style from the picture before, and also doing an activity. So it seems like oh, that's my uh, does, it look, does it look like that's I'm there what with? I do. Does it look like know? I'm there with a hot Brazilian girl? Oh, that's the thing. In this kind of picture, you can say, oh, he's a businessman. He's there, like, talking about business. It's daytime. Well, so we're you at, don't we're know, out for dinner. you know? Yeah. What yeah. would you rate this one? This one's, like, 9.6. I like that a lot. 9.6? Mm -hmm. But why? But I think before you told me to start with this one. Why would you? What's the rationale there? Rationale what? Behind what? To, to use this, this one? To use this as the main picture instead because of Because the other one is too Shout much. Shout out to Ricardo. It's too right intimidating if we start with that one. It's too this intimidating. one's too intimidating? Yeah, because it's like too... I, like it's upscale. It's like you're wearing a suit. It's like it's kind of intimidating. So some girls may feel that's too much. Yeah, it's too much to wear a suit. Okay. Sorry, what? Mm, no, yeah. All right, next. Yeah. This is in Portugal. I Portrigal. love this picture. This Oops. picture is it's amazing. It's got colorfuls. Yeah, it got news. all the colors. It's outside. Now, this photographer, cool. like, you nice. got you got to look for for good photographers, right? If you go to a, a foreign country, the last one was in Paris. This one is in Portugal, and we found this is one of the best photographers we've ever had. And we just found him. He had really, really good reviews on, on an Airbnb photo gig, and he like, this is actually a great idea. And this is another fucking value bomb to drop. He was finding pictures of guys in magazines that were already like in like GQ and like, you know, guys that already like had good posing, uh, you know, rationale behind it. And then he would show us a list of poses and I had Liz there and she'd be like, that one's good. That one's good. And we just picked out and then he would literally like fine tune. So I was looking exactly like that pose, like look over at this spot on that wall, look a little bit more to the left, look a, bit, a little bit more to the right. And it, and like when we were doing the photos, it was like kind of really fucking annoying, but it came out better than any other photo shoot because yeah. he was like fine-tuning like really micromanaging exactly the exact yeah. look yeah john was kind of pissed the day <laughs> but see he doesn't look pissed he looks awesome he looks strong <laughs> he looks like awesome i love this picture i would say 10. really I didn't change anything in this picture but okay Come now, on, what i have a hold on i have a genuine question uh, he could get a Lisa help me help me learn how to bang online with this question no why okay if you rate this a 10 this is 9.6 why do i have that as my main picture Cause you're fucking up, dog. You're fucking up, dog. No, really. Wow. I don't know. You do you think I should? Do I, you told me to use this as the main. Maybe you should switch for the other one. But also because this it, it increases like the thing like about like. I I like this because my like I have a lot of tattoos that fucking you know, is uh, you know. 
was it? it showcases like unique aspect personality i look like welcoming friendly yeah. i look in good shape blah 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 yeah and the other one you can see it's like um but do you think a pro photo you know but you yeah the it's other ones are pro this, this was taken yeah that's true too so there's other factors one thing is like can yeah. i just yeah, do yeah. like one thing is like this if you have really really good pictures you can you can start like with a picture that's good and then like wow this is even better wow this could be even better yeah but, but a lot of people are only looking at the first picture but, yeah huh a lot of people are looking at just the first picture yeah but it's already good it's yeah. already like you were ready to swipe you know but it's not the case for the people that has like seven and eight pictures seven point or eight point pictures so then you have to start with the first one but and do you think you wait like real quick do you think i should change the first picture to this one or this one i know i don't think it should change it still because like it's a better picture but it's also posed it's yeah. also pro photo yeah you know you and you can can't really see you can't really photo. see much of my face in this one is like side profile my, my profile is just a couple shirtless pictures of me <laughs> and then my profile thing just says daddy <laughs> Jesus, really? all right yeah this uh, is in this is santorini greece this okay. is like a it's travel santorini, so just because of the background you'd like wow it's a great picture the only thing that i would change is like that flip-flops Oh, yeah. Flip flops kind of destroy a little yeah, bit the only mood. fucking faggots with flip flops. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would no. Like, <laughs> but like for example, if it's a flip flop like this, but it's like in a white collar or something more elegant, would like match the picture way better, you know? This but is John's elegant, always, right? This yeah, yeah. So I'm elegant. super elegant right now. Be right back, gonna crop yeah. out my flip flops. <laughs> no, but what would you rate this one? Uh, uh nine point four. 9.5. So the lowest rated photo is my main picture. Good to know. All right. <laughs> Next. Oh, I love this one. It's like the light is really good. Oh, Those aren't my sunglasses. That was like the photographer's sunglasses and it yeah. worked out well. There is just his, uh, like, see, it's like just his face. You're showing, like off the camera. But there is like a lot of, a lot of things going on. Get I'm some sorry, titty, get some titties up in this shot. <laughs> it's a lot of colors, a lot of mix, really good lighting. The sun makes this nice effect so 9.5 still i don't know still the lowest one is the fucking main picture oh, come on, give man. it a 9.35 <laughs> there's our little angel that's that our dog yeah. that's our Maybe dog nine, angel three, yeah look mm -hmm. at that how can you not love this picture? yeah you, that picture of your dog is gonna let you put something now it's interesting this is like the fourth or fifth it's picture dog, in uh, but a lot of chicks are like Oh, I just swiped because of the dog, haha, -ha, wink face. But they're like just fucking around. But a lot of a lot of chicks are like, I want to meet your dog, and I'm like, oh, uh, well, she, she's dog. at the main house with Liz, and I have a side place. They're always like, where's your dog? I'm like, uh, uh, she's I know where the dog is. It has a boner. <laughs> and it's humping something. <laughs> this is the chick one. Yeah. The That's male weird. one has a boner can all I the time. Hey, can we take a photo? It's like can because like Maybe. the dog is just so perfect, and it's my dog, Wait. so I cannot. Okay, um, what would you rate this one? And wait, give some rationale too. I can't. It's my Ten. dog. No, you Come can't. On. No, 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 no bias allowed in this. Come on. Okay, but this is like one of the cutest dogs in Earth. What do you expect me to say? Like, <laughs> it's Jesus my background Christ. on my phone. When I'm out at the club, when I'm doing cold approach and shit, I'm like, look, I have a French bulldog, and I show. Let me show you guys. This is what I see every time I look down at my phone, which is really funny because I have a I have a side place. And uh, in my side place, I have no dogs because the three dogs are at the main place. And the chicks are like, where are your dogs? And I'm like, uh, they're at a bigger yeah. place. It's with mom. With my, no, I said they're with my business partner. Mom. With mom. Um, and babies. Liz is not my business partner. Uh, let's huh? see. No, I said they were, I tell them they're with my, it's with my business oh, partner. Okay. Is there a they pick up the dog. Hold on. Doesn't John, John's eyes look weird? Animal. Why does it look weird? Probably because I'm high on life. Yeah. Yeah, usually at nighttime he's high, but on why life. Is on life? But how? Why? I don't see I think they're just squinting a little bit. Yeah, it's just a little bit like this, right? But no, it's not like weird, weird. And it's a dog and the dog is cute, so that adds a lot of points. <laughs> okay. Uh, next. 
Oh, that's a great picture. That's a very, very good one. I love this picture. This nice. was taken in Sao Paulo. Yeah. Uh, there's an area called Beco de Batman that has like all these murals and shit. Mm -hmm. Again, we didn't even know about it. Photographers were like, hey, there's a great spot. So you, you just look for, I swear, a lot of, a lot of like, getting a good photo shoot is finding the right photographer that can take you to the best spots at the end and like knows how to pose you. Like that'll take you far beyond what you're capable of naturally. It's not like, oh, I'm, I'm at the ceiling because I'm not a Chad. No, like I'm not a fucking Chad, but you can make yourself look really great with a bunch of nice backgrounds and nice poses but give some what were you gonna rate it a nine what i cut you off mm, nine six nine seven it's like you're plotting your next move yeah which which guy on youtube am i gonna fucking roast really hard again mm -hmm. <laughs> all right um I bought the dating profile maximizer in the past. Can you still write my new photos that I'm going to get? Uh, no, it's not. You know, I appreciate, uh, you know, that you're a client, but it's not unlimited rounds of photos. Even for the eight-week program, we got to pay the team of girls. <clears throat> Even for the eight-week program, only the first round, which is hundreds of photos, only the first round is free. Follow on um, photos we, we charge, unfortunately. Uh, you know, otherwise everybody would keep sending photos and the girls would be working for free. Um, so it is. So, yeah, but, but give us some rationale. What was the rating? I didn't hear it still. 9.6. 9.6. So still the fucking shirtless one is the lowest rated one. Okay. We're going to talk about that after. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you rate this? But, but the nine point, but here, but what, or sorry. What, what was the feedback there? Sorry. Oh, it's good. Like very confident, shows a lot of the tattoos. This used to be my main picture. Yeah. Maybe for the new pictures that you added, you don't need that one anymore, but Ooh. it's still nice. It's like shiny. I say that because there is another one that's very close. What is that? Oh, sushi. Oh, sushi. Oh, sushi. This can do 2,800 puffs, so I'm going to I'm gonna start right now with number one. Let's start counting. we gotta, we got to puff this 2,800 times in a week. Yeah, I'm sure. Right. I was just curious to know what it was. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, that's delicious. Try that. Yeah. Um, yes, it's really nice. It's like peach something. Um, did we let this guy? Did we let the cameraman use our our YouTube camera in this shoot? No. We have our, we have a YouTube camera. Sometimes we just give our our camera to the. We have the Sony. Um, it's a YouTube camera. <laughs> The camera we use on YouTube. Oh. Um, we have a Sony A7 III or whatever. It's supposed to be the best camera. And we have a really, like the best lens. I just asked I a bunch of videographers. Awesome. Yeah, we just bought that one today. The e, EVZ1 or something. We just bought a second B shot B roll. <laughs> oh my God. We just bought a second. It's like, yeah. I know. He's always fucking around. All it's right. bad when he's on when he's on YouTube because people don't know he's fucking around. He's like, yeah, we used to be gay and suck each other's dicks. And everyone's like, holy shit. Yeah, we still are. It's not used to it. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. See you later, Lego King. Oh, watch Eric Andre season six. They have a, a skit where they're, they're walking on Legos. That's my favorite show. Um, the really high-end cameras are like two or three grand, and then you got to buy a lens. That's like another grand. Um, but actually, here's a good, before we, we continue with my profile, um, <laughs> we're going to start using, I don't know why I didn't do this years ago. We're going to start using a capture card and streaming to YouTube Live. Like right now, I use a, a 4K webcam. We're going to start streaming with our fucking high-end DSLR. It allows you to stream with a DSLR camera straight to uh, YouTube. So we're going to start using that for reactions. Well, mostly for lives, right? We're going to start using it for reactions too, but um, my lives are going to go way up in quality. I'm, gonna, I'm basically like a Twitch streamer or something like that. That's going to be like what we all hope impeccable quality. Yeah. One day you too can be a Twitch streamer. <laughs> but a, ca a capture card basically just lets you stream your, your high-end DSLR camera straight to the uh, 
to, straight to the stream. So we're going to be making that switch in like a week. I wish I would have done it years ago. And also, you know, I'm just updating you guys on fucking equipment. Um, yeah, the B-roll side camera that we were using on YouTube, we had a lower end entry model was my old YouTube camera. We should have upgraded that way sooner too. But now we have two high end 4K cameras. Um, and we have a gimbal and stabilizer and all this other shit to do mobile shots that I've had since 2019. I used to have the editor that was, that works for Charisma on Command. And he bought all, I just let him go crazy. I'm like, like you know, order whatever you want. And I've had all this high end shit, I'm just like wasn't using it. Um, but we just had a videographer explain to Liz how to use a lot of it. And so she's going to, we're going to do more moving shots. We've got the new studio. We're going to have two 4K cameras, stream lives with fucking capture cards. The channel will still be shadow banned. Glad to see Josh Anthony is eating. Why don't you just make a new YouTube channel? We did. And we're going to be scaling that up, and eventually we'll switch over entirely to that. Um, I have no idea what that entails. and I'm not a gamer. Uh, I don't know. And it, it's so fucking weird whenever I react to those guys' streams and there's just like this like chat in the background and they're playing a video game. I watch um, – all I do, all I use the internet for is YouTube and Twitch. Wait, hold on. We have a request for Josh. Hit a front double bicep pose. Oh, yeah. Here's my hand. Oh, shit, my hand. <laughs> uh, I've been eating all day. <laughs> Tell Josh to breathe while he's eating. I'll do whatever I want. All right. First of all, oh, this is something we might do too. RSD proved this. We might have you start a channel, Connor start a channel, and the other coaches start a channel, and everybody fucking uh, produces content. This sounds like so much work. It is a lot of work. And then people will know who I am. I've been doing daily content for years. It's a lot of work. Uh, okay. Well, let's go back to my. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we can do a live where he's doing drunk commentary. Let's go back to my uh, Tinder profile. That, no, see, that's an idea right there. <laughs> drunk commentary. I'm getting fucking hungry now, too. What is that? I got two rolls. You want one? Oh. Can I have one? Yeah. Oh, my God. I thought you were going to feed me. Aww. Aww. That right is fucking mine. I'm starving. This looks delicious. I have it to Liz, but she was too cool for me, too. Like, oh. You disgust me. Oh, my, oh my God. I know. That was rude. Thank I you. didn't eat sushi. Oh my God. I didn't eat sushi oh till like, my mid-20s because my mom was like, raw fish is bad for you. And I was like, okay, I'll never have sushi. And then I would order. I'd order record, John's mom is the best mom ever. I would always order chicken teriyaki with the guys at Lockheed. They would all get sushi, and I'd be like, I can't eat raw fish, guys. My mom, my said, mom it's bad. said so. She also told me there's a man in the sky. There is. Oh, man. Really? I did ayahuasca. I have the DMT. There's definitely a man in the sky. <laughs> We're all part of it. We go back there. There's infinite geometry. Well, that settles it. You know it. I don't okay. want to eat all of it. I'm still hanging up. You got to get big. Well, I do want to eat all of it. I don't want to take it from you. I, well, it was two for one, so I just got it. There's a bunch of food inside there. I'm going to go rummage through it. All right. All Let's right. fucking um, finish the end of my Tinder profile. Let me shout out our... Let's do questions after the Tinder profile. <laughs> okay. Let's fuck around. We have to be up at 8.30 with the students. We have to be 8.30? We have to be awake? That's we have to be ready to go at 8.30. That's 5.30 in real time, just by the way. In Pacific time. Yeah. yeah. It's 9.30 for us in Brazil time, but it's still early. We don't wake up at 9.30. Yeah. What's going to happen at 8.30? We're going to teach pickup. But you guys are going to be around. Hot women aren't even awake. <laughs> We're not going to do infield at 8.30. Good. You got No, first thing you got to get on the cycle. Right? <laughs> Sleep until noon. Get on the sale, guys. We haven't already. Uh, we'll be ending soon, very soon. Uh, pinned comment or description and, and a pinned chat. All right. Let's look at the end of my fucking thing here. Then we'll look at some questions. Put some questions in for Josh, guys. We've reunited after eight years. Eight years. Feels so good. Never leave me again. You got to move to Brazil. Connor came to Brazil and he's like obsessed with it now. Bro, my life was like so chill and so nice and so calm. Connor's like, the girls are super hot. They all have nice asses. They're super cool. Lots of them are bi. They're way better in bed. They're not cunts. They don't play power games. There's beaches. It doesn't get cold. Everything's cheaper. And it feels first world, actually. If you go in the nice areas. I want to live in a favela. <laughs> I want to be king of the favela. 
<laughs> I want to have like an army of like Brazilian bugs. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, all right, let's go back to my profile. I think we're almost done. Actually, I have like eight pictures in there right now. So we're not almost done. Um, okay. All right, was that it? Yeah, that was all. So all the pictures I have. Huh. Mm -hmm. No, but going yeah, back to. Before. Yeah, that's weird. I'm going to look at that. Oh, here's my bio. So let me translate this for you guys. Um, 194, that's 64. CEO, I don't say dating company. I do DJ electronic music. A lot of people think that's like a made up thing. It's not. I, it's I really DJ'd like a lot it. of. <laughs> yeah. I DJ'd a lot of uh, shit before. I don't say dating company i say digital marketing just so people you know i'm not going to go into the real details of the company at first american living in brazil world traveler over 30 countries gym plus muay thai and i speak portuguese fluent what's your um zodiac sign libra a lot of girls are like obsessed with that when we were when we were filming infield in 2014 girls would be like we would we would tell everyone it was josh's birthday every night just to get a <laughs> compliance boost because they'd be like Objection, objection, objection. It only birthday. happens once a year that it's his oh, fucking oh, birthday. Yeah. And they'd it's be like, well. Birthday this week. <laughs> but some girls would like try to test him. They'd be like, what's your zodiac sign? And he had to like keep up. He'd be filmed for months. He'd have to be like, what's, what zodiac sign is it now? I'd be like a Pisces. Yeah. Oh my God, this guy made this website. It's fucking hilarious. And what do you do is you can ask a chick like what her zodiac sign is. <laughs> and then you put in a compatibility thing and then it's 98%. <laughs> Jesus. And then girls are like, oh my god, we're 98% compatible. <laughs> yeah, I look it up sometimes. <laughs> and if it's like bad, I like change the subject. If it's good, I'm like, look, we're a great match. I don't want to be like bring in cognitive science and be like, so you're telling me the entire population is segmented into 12 groups that have nothing to do with genetic factors well, that's or environmental you don't experience. The zodiac. <laughs> that's just your sun sign. <laughs> you have your rising sign, which is what they used to go off of. You have your moon. And then you have all of your other houses. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. I've dated a bunch of witches. You sound like the Zodiac <laughs> killer to me. Didn't they never catch that guy? No, everyone knows that it's Ted Cruz. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's boring. Ted Cruz is the Zodiac killer. Uh, that confirmed? Yeah. I just confirmed it right now. <laughs> you just confirmed it right now. Oh, you want to go in the pool? Yeah. Check out this pool, guys. Oh, the cord's too short. Watch out. Here, babe, can you lift the camera back there? That's why we need a... This is why we need a capture card. Yeah, you see, see the... All right, well, you get the idea. There's a large body of water behind the house. There's a large body of water in front of the house, too. It's a river. No. The ri river? The River Nile. Or is this the ocean? I think it's the ocean, right? Yeah. Oh, We've yeah. decided it's the ocean. It's two against one. Dude, yeah. we can do that all. We can veto. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, just can decide. It's like, oh, we decided, we decided that, this is actually the, the ocean. So, yeah, now it is still. I actually have a SoundCloud. What's that? DJ DJ Molnir is my DJ name. Um, okay. Have you ever had a girl tell you you're too logical in a fight? No, but that's what I always think. No, it's it's hard arguing with girls because you can't win. Yeah. And logic doesn't apply. Right? Now Liz is pretty logical. But she's also very emotional sometimes. Jesus. But I love you. Why would you say Jesus to that? You're a woman. If you're not emotional, you're a fucking dude. You'd be weird. <laughs> you're supposed to be emotional. Isn't this good? It's good. That's Thanks, why Josh. that's why men are attracted to women. Because they're like they're different. If you were exactly like a dude, if you wanted a dude, you would fucking do it. Which um you invited me here in the first place. Probably not. We'll probably put it out in, in some new thing. I think we're going to be productizing this whole five-day immersion experience because I'm teaching the entire game across five days um, and working hand-in-hand -hand with five guys to absolutely transform them and fix every and all problem they have. And me, Josh, and Connor have seen and done everything t countless times now. Like, to give you guys, like, an idea... Whoops. Ooh, that was a nice catch. Yeah. To give you guys an idea of the level that we are on now, 
in 2013, we were very consistently getting guys laid three for three nights a decade ago. That's not happening anywhere else in the industry, I promise you, in 2023, 10 years later, and never has. We were doing that 10 years ago. Josh was the lead instructor for Sasha Day Game. I was like the star of the RST Nation forums, and I was teaching RST programs very briefly. <laughs> very ashamed of that, by the way. Uh, and That's I the highlight of your career. <laughs> <laughs> I very quickly, someone asked, who would you rather fuck, Owen Cook or Todd? And, and she she couldn't answer it. Who would what? you rather fuck? Owen yeah, Cook who would you rather fuck, Josh? Nothing, that's what he's doing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wait, let's... Also, he's got more money, <laughs> too. How is that even tough? Yeah. He would take me on nicer dates. He'd probably be gentle to me, you know? <laughs> Wait, let's... <laughs> let's take a, a brief pause here. To watch one of my favorite videos very quickly. <laughs> okay. This is only 60 seconds, so bear with us. I made this myself. Can you copyright strike it if you play it on the <laughs> No, I made this myself. Can you copyright strike your own, your own channel? I can copyright strike myself if possible. And what we're going to do right now is talk about how Luke converted me and got me to come out of the closet. Come out of the closet. <laughs> we are totally gay, so you know that, right? We are totally gay. <laughs> oh my god, never get told. So many more clips too. This is like tip here. How could anyone possibly Look at me at the bottom of the screen. This is the man that dominated the community for 10 years. Mind boggling. Not much more mind boggling than Fresh Prince CEO. Dominated YouTube. Look at him on the bottom. I'm so proud of myself, man. I'm like adjusted. <laughs> So we have our final poll of the day. Final poll of the day. <laughs> Who has better tits? Are we manitas? Petitos. Or the petitos? All right. Well, that was fun. Oh, look. Patrick Bet fell out interviewing Would you rather Christine be Criminal. By the way, let me, let me respond to this. Let me just apparently, say. Apparently, somebody was like, somebody asked Tristan and Andrew on their latest emergency meeting stream for dating advice. And they're like, oh, we don't really give dating advice, but there's other guys like that guy that moved to South America that, you know, fucks a lot of hot chicks, but has no friends. And uh, I <laughs> loser. You don't have any friends. <laughs> I have tons of friends. Yeah. I have lots. Of, I lived in so many places. I have like you big know friend you have a lot of friends when you have to go out on YouTube and be like, I have lots of. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're like, what do they say? They're like, it looks like he manipulates women. It's like, motherfucker, you can't even leave your house. And you have a whole playbook on camera talking about how you guys had a script manipulate manipulate when they got criminally charged with it. Well, what does manipulate mean? Like you say things to elicit a reaction in a, in a favorable light. Doesn't everyone do that? Like, don't you? The way that you dress and carry yourself is to get people to perceive you a certain way. That's manipulating them. It's manipulating the perception of them. <laughs> the word choices that you use <laughs> manipulating them. Like, what does that mean to manipulate? Them? Liz, has anyone tried using any good game on you? Here we are. My yeah, game was so good that on the first date, I tried to kiss her in like 15, 20 minutes, and she's like, I should be going. This is moving too fast. And <laughs> I was that? like, My girlfriend, no. Um, before we met up, deleted my number. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, she was leaving the house, and, and I was like, Oh, we can slow down. It's all good. <laughs> we were supposed to meet in public. She was refusing to come straight to the house. We were supposed to meet in public, and the, the place I chose was like closed. But I actually thought it was you open. ended up marrying him, so you should have just banged him right away. Oh my god! Oh yeah, no, think about that. Oh my god! Yeah, you should give your it. friends, all of your friends, advice. Be like, if I could tell you anything, it's to bang them right away. Just bang them. Right Josh, away. it's too deep for Ricardo. Josh hears that a lot. <laughs> I do. I look like hurts. a ghost in this yeah. lighting. But if we had like a white background, I would just blend job, in. Job passed. Too deep job. <laughs> Actually, that's what I want my name to be. It's too deep, but it's going to be the number two. <laughs> you guys are very creative. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> you start coming back too short. <laughs> Yeah, he was literally like, there wasn't even like a second 
close person in the space besides RSD and that fucking dumbass for like well over a decade. Like the majority of the time that the pickup community has been in existence, people have been worshiping that dumb fuck that we all just watched on camera. Mind boggling. But hey, I paid him for a boot camp too. I, I fucking got sucked into it too. I didn't. That's how I met Connor though, and that's how I met Sonny on that RSC boot camp that I took in June 2012 with Tyler and Todd at 103 Lake Count. Connor was assisting instructing, and Sonny Arvado was a, a fellow student. So at least it was good for something. And I got to have the bubble burst and didn't get go down that rabbit hole. So that was priceless. Watching Tyler get relentlessly destroyed and make up stories about how, how he pulled and all this stuff. I was like, this dude's he's literally fat like 100 percent fabricating entire stories. All of my stories are 100 percent fabricated. It's pretty scary. For the record, to any DAs watching, everything is 100 percent fiction. <laughs> Winking at the camera. But that, uh, that wink was sarcastic. I mean, there's nothing I've said is true. That's all. You don't have to call him Jesus, Liz. Jesus. Yes. I don't know. I'm what, sorry. It's just expression. Spell. It's Jesus, I think. Yeah. You ever come into Chicago, home of the Moneyberg? <laughs> Time will tell. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. If we're using this fucking DSLR and, and OBS and all this shit, we can just broadcast it everywhere. Is the ocean or river swimmable or too dirty? I don't know. We have a pool here, though, so we'll probably go yeah. on that and not in the. No, the correct answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, zero. What percentage of your Brazil dates you speak English? The English level is incredibly low in Brazil. I've been fluent now for a while. I don't speak English ever except to Liz. You're right. Every video you've sent me speaking Portuguese. <laughs> Which has been one, it's been stuttered. So I don't believe that John knows how to speak Portuguese. I think it's home certeza, ne? Yeah, oh, he maybe he learned a phrase from his Brazilian wife. He does not speak Brazilian. <laughs> it's confirmed I don't speak Brazilian. It's been confirmed on this stream right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you have any other, any other things you'd like to share? The answer is no. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could relive that moment. That was great. that was a great experience. Uh, should I try to be going out Friday, Saturday to get numbers? Yes. Make a hard cut off at 10 p.m. If you go on a date or see a fuck buddy, tell her you have to meet friends at 10 for a guy's night out or someone's birthday or something that she's not invited to, or you're going to bed early because you're tired. In quotes. You need Basically, to be hitting. You need to be hitting the clubs every Friday and Saturday, no exceptions. The kids are coming here. They're going to be here at eight thirty. Yeah. And we're old now. We need our our beauty rest. Now there's Red Bull in the fridge. We'll be fine. Should I always yeah. be prioritizing like going on Friday, Saturday, Saturday to mm -hmm. get numbers and pull over dates? I mean, unless the date's really hot, you should do whatever you want. Yeah, that's true. That's an that's an exception. But I I would routinely like. I, I used to prioritize uh, like getting better at game over like fucking a hot rotation girl. For I instance. mean, back in the day, like we wouldn't schedule a date on Friday or Saturday night. Yeah. We were gonna go fucking oh yeah, but yeah, these days age. we do. Yeah, these days we do. But now, I'm fucking old. I'm not gonna. I'm yeah, not if, after you, after, after you've, after you've like <laughs> achieved mastery, you can. But like, have I achieved mastery? <laughs> this master. is what mastery looks like. You're the master baiter of the house. I told Connor that story about how I threw baby elves into the bathroom once and you were jerking off. <laughs> you like punched his head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I felt bad. Oh you God. were like sitting on the floor with a bottle of lotion with the shower on in disguise. I always jerk off before the shower. That's the whole fucking thing. You turn the shower on, you sit there, the water hits your back, you watch porn on your phone, you jerk off. I felt bad for it. I didn't know you were like jerking off. I like threw Albert Anytime Alberta. I'm in my room alone or in the bathroom alone, I am jerking off. <laughs> Anytime you're in your room alone, you're going to be in your room alone not too long from now. All right. Uh, 
<laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. We're about to hit the two hour mark. That'll that'll help me. What happens when feel you hour mark? I feel better about ending it because my OCD goes off. <laughs> it's like one minute fifty six. It's like all right, let's talk for four more minutes. Damn. Otherwise, I didn't do a two hour stream. I mean, your OCD has helped you, but I've, it seems torturous. <laughs> my little cousin, who's from the same genetic pool, has that OCD. He like he like he's like really good at poker at age ten, <clears throat> and like. He like t tells my brother, he's like, I can't believe you beat me on that hand at Christmas. Like he brings it up like every time my brother's like, there's his OCD going off. <laughs> like, dude, I can relate to that. Okay. You know what it's like um, living with John, going out with John? Liz knows. If you, if you miss a pull. You both, you both understand that. <laughs> oh, my God. I know you both what understand it is. Oh, and then he, he, oh like, my you wake God. up, and then he paces oh back and forth God. for an hour oh talking about God. it. Oh, my God. It's so. You're like, okay, yeah. Okay, okay yeah, no, I got sucked. it. I yeah. got it. And he's okay. like, but yeah. what's going on in his head is even worse than what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In his head, he's like, No, but here's the cool part. Liz has the same fucking hyperanalytical brain. She just doesn't vocalize it. But she deals with that hell internally as well. Yeah, that's why you need to be like, ooh, away yeah, you sometimes. Need to, you need to fry your brain like I did. I can't even remember. <laughs> like, you remember that thing? I'm like, not particularly. No, but that, that hyper-obsessive analysis is what helped me optimize everything. It's a blessing and what a curse. What helped me optimize it? Living with a hyper-obsessive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, co-evolving. No, I can't, co take all the, I can't take all the credit. We, 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 we camp a lot of this shit together. I mean, you could take all the credit. You would just be wrong. <laughs> there's only uh, one. Yeah, like on the on the calls. There's only room for one Anthony lifestyle. I'll get like mm -hmm. a student who's new. He's like, so, uh, do you know anything about John Anthony's night game system? He's like, first of all, let's just <laughs> let's take a step back. All right, let's. Fuck this John Anthony. Fuck you, first. I'm <laughs> Josh Anthony. Josh Anthony lifestyle. J A. I'm Josh Anthony. <laughs> Oh, Josh, you're gonna sleep out here tonight. We're gonna leave the stream on. All right, you're gonna have to watch him jerk off. No, no, you don't have to. You get to. Right. <laughs> I almost, get I almost got a. In, the channel almost got nuked in 2019 at the at the end of my alcoholism. I was about to get a blowjob on camera from a fuck buddy during a live. <clears throat> it's beautiful to see you and oh, Josh. My dad's with all this advice. And... We are his dad, huh? We're your internet dads. Mm -hmm. Well, for me to say too many words. It's too like, words it's like two and a half men. Well, for me, I say I don't want my partner on boot camp because it makes him crazy. And it, okay, I don't I can't I read. To. See if I can. I have to read the comment board. before we put it up because some of them are really dumb. Moving to a new spot where I don't know anyone. Don't skip my questions. All right, let's go back <laughs> to Kevin Ocean. Yeah, Kevin because he said Ocean. not to skip. Oh, well, you skipped it again. Yeah, oh, skipping. I skipped it again. Damn, that sucks, bro. <laughs> um, every time come on all right, all right, all right, all right. i feel Where bad for the kids is your brother danny ocean where is kevin kevin ocean yeah oh sorry kevin ocean. oh sorry oh oh uh, sorry <laughs> are you looking for oceans 11 questions does your product the harem game cover i don't know what that means don't care <laughs> does your new product cover the harem game kevin he's not even kevin you know what you're out of here <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just fucking around, Kevin. Have you tried the grimace? Okay, first of all, you're all participating in in free marketing for McDonald's. First of all, I haven't had McDonald's since I was like ten, and had had didn't get to choose what I ate. I yeah, we were living next to the thousandth. You're doing McDonald's a Harlem Shake. You're doing a remix of the Harlem Shake for a fucking milkshake from McDonald's. This is so funny. I'm having a great time. Just wait. Liz is about to take her boobies out. Okay, it's now. I've always wanted to see boobies in real life. Uh, how should I work? STD? My dad, my wait, wait, we, wait, the, this one, this one. We're, down, we're, we're visiting my parents, and they, my dad's like, the one next one. You down. know, John, I waited till marriage. Your mother was the, was the first. I'm like, I know. Okay, I'm wait, like, wait, wait. Go to the and one he's next like, one down. and I was like, that's what me and Liz did too. Uh, <laughs> I'm avenging my father. I'm I'm in charge of this now. How should I work STD topics in with a girl to make her secure and safe? You should always bring up STDs all the time. Yeah. Uh, that makes them feel so safe. Hey, I'm good. Will. You have AIDS? <laughs> I'm Will. I don't have any STDs. That's your opener. How should you work it in? You don't fucking talk about STDs, yeah. retard. Am I allowed to call people retards still? Yes. Okay. Don't be retarded. 
Why would you bring up some <laughs> STDs if you're trying to fuck? By the way, Liz doesn't like when we're mean to people on YouTube. Oh, well, you are going to hate me because I literally get banned <laughs> all the time on all oh social media for being mean to people. I've really? almost, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the most fun. I've almost lost the channel I've so many really times. Have you really gotten banned because of that? <clears throat> I've gotten banned two times this month. Or, well, last month. Oh, my God. I have multiple Instagram accounts because I'm always getting banned. Oh I go God. online. And if I die, banned. I already put you guys in my will, says Will. That was ironic. Oh, that's Will. Wait, you should really do that, though, because I like money. And I like you now that you give me money. Mm -hmm. Do you guys stretch before sex? Holy fucking autism, Batman. Holy shit. Okay. Yes, we all stretch. I don't even stretch for the gym. So, yeah. no. Yeah, but I'm stretching like every day to get like better. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet you're going to stretch that. So. I bet he's yeah, you can do that. I Just stretch. I like I this guy. I like this guy. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so mean. If you were a Rosenberg. <laughs> Oh my god, guys! Yeah, we need Liz on our streams. How do you bring up STDs? We need Liz. We need Liz on our streams hey, to hey, balance us out. You should here. also bring up murder to make sure she. <laughs> I'm not a murderer, and I promise I'm not I won't gonna hurt rape you. you. I don't have STDs. I'm not gonna murder you. Do you feel safe now? Look at my cover? eyes. Make cover? sure, uh, intense eye contact. Don't blink. Talk about STDs. The girls is getting stretched out. The girls is. The girls is. It shouldn't <sighs> be the girls are. Yes. No. Nope. Very good. Nope, the girls is. The girls is? Yeah, that's how you say right. it. Yeah, the girls the... is getting stretched out. Yeah, when that's like, go... uh, yeah, what's how you guys say here. Right? No, that's not how we say it. Don't say it like that. Just joking. Unless you're trying to be like, I Adam know it's not. Wife. No, no, I know if it's you're not. trying to. Oh, actually, this is a real question. Uh, yeah, we have, a, we have a product called Harem Game that I made that we haven't really announced. Oh, that's uh, what uh, Kehim was asking about. Yeah, just email uh, John. It's burped. John at JohnAnthonyLifestyle.com. Do you think Karen left because you're making fun of him? Oh, I hope so. Who? Kahan. 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 If you don't want to get roasted, Kahan, I'm sorry. Then just fucking. They are nice uh, people. You just met. Them. How do you know? <laughs> oh. You just assume because their name's dumb. Huh? Are you like no, trying? No, to... I'm talking about Josh. I assume because you have, he has your validation, right? So, you have my validation. I feel validated. Yeah. Like Otherwise, a parking ticket. Have you validated this? <laughs> have you seen that there's that webcomic where it's like uh he's like he's parking, he's like, Hey, do you do validation? And she's like she's like you're a complete Let's play some over unders on some fucking weird Miami creep stepping to us on the streets. Uh, no. I've made like probably fifty enemies here. In Miami? If not more. I hope your Muay Thai is is feeling strong. My, my kicks are rusty, but I've been, I've been hitting the baggies. And It'd be fun to get in a fight together. I'd be honored. Yeah. Cool. We can, we'll have infield. We'll be mic'd up. We, we all caught on video. Imagine beating down slurs. Fresh Prince CEO, punching him in his fat titties. Hey, you show him some respect. <laughs> he fucks 15,000. Myron would shoot us. Myron and Gaines. Myron all right. Again. Uh, <laughs> you have to care whether you live and die to care. Ricardo, shit. don't wish this kind of stuff. I've had a gun pulled on me. Someone pulled a gun and put it in my head, and I said, shoot it, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. And I meant it because I really did not care. I was like, the fuck? I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm going to beat the fuck out of him. That's nihilism for you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, you see a Big Lebowski? Uh -huh. Where they're like, he's like, don't worry, Donnie. These men are nihilists. They're cowards. <laughs> He's like, we fucked you up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what makes a man, Mr. Lebowski? Is it willing to do the right thing no matter what the cost? He's like, oh, that and a pair of testicles. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else we got here? Such bad eyes. <coughs> I'm so old. Have you? Beat they would. Up? They would make a speedy recovery and go on to harm more people you online. Have to so. beat up after that. I don't have to do anything. And they'd be martyrs. I don't well. have to do shit. That's what you need to understand. Oh, I heard about that. I didn't get a chance to look yet. We've been doing Miami stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll probably react to that. I guess. Uh, punch fresh in the throat. Stop it, 
at that, Ricardo. Hold on. He already apologized in advance. Let's see. LOL, LOL, I'm just kidding. Mm. It's LIS. Get it right, Ricardo. Thank you. Every- it's fine. I don't mind. You can write with Z if S. I don't mind. <laughs> My name's kind of hard. Three letters, it's really tough. No, but it is because people never get my name. I always have to be repeat, so they call me whatever. Did John, did John pay you the 49 cents? No, actually, paid? I was thinking about that today. This morning, I was like, I never got any of my super chat money from that 98 cent. You owe me 49 cents. You owe me 7K from 2015. That I you owe for. me fucking hundreds of thousands of dollars for sinking that project. A full year of my life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We were about... Oh, no, we did get on ClickBank. You got us demonetized like three months after. We I were tried to bang like 20 grand. A I month. tried to bang this guy's wife. And then we got kicked off after a fucking full year. I didn't know that he had day. those connections. Yeah. Okay. That amount of money that <laughs> we were making 20K a month. And you're like, you owe me 7K. I'm like, oh, that guy came out as gay fucking... later. So he deserved it. <laughs> you hitting on his he blocked. He blocked the pull. I was, I was leaving the conference with him. We ran into the guy. <sighs> you hitting on his wife turned her gay. I have no regrets. It's regrets. It all worked out fine in the end. Oh, let's see what Kahan Ocean says. It all worked out fine in the end for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> Thanks for clearing here. I also scroll up and see my original question. Want to hers everyone opinion. Oh my god, dude. Just retype it, dog. I don't want to scroll. Just type it again, bro. You never weed? never have tried it, but I've always I've always wanted to. Marijuana. No, we actually did smoke in Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. Was it the one time you ever smoked marijuana is in Amsterdam? Uh, no, there was another time in Amsterdam. <laughs> actually, we just smoked weed in New York because it's legal now. <laughs> He's like, now I'm remembering all of the places I didn't break the law, and those are the places <laughs> I did that. In Jesus. All- <laughs> <laughs> in all- you're, a, you're, a, you're crazy. Yeah. I've hey, watch who's in the Lord's name in vain. There might be some Christians Miami on the before. stream here. Have you ever heard of methamphetamine? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever tried it? No. Do you want uh, to? No, I'm <laughs> fine. Thank you very much. I mean, I wasn't off. I was just kidding. Yeah, of course. But that's how I'm going to stay awake. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry for the name of Lord. <laughs> okay. And I'll actually, how do fake gurus keep getting an audience? Because uh, people keep watching them. My first question. The no. same reason that people eat McDonald's. No, here's the here's the reason. Most guys have no idea how dating works. And then when you like clutter all up, all the like limited real advice from my channel with a whole bunch of nonsense, it's like a, you know, anyone that types in like how to get girls, how to date girls, they land on some fucking retard. Oh my god, I have to scroll up to see. And they don't know that the information's false. That's where I come in. Kahan, Kahan. Free up storage space. Kahan. Oh yeah, we're fucking streaming this to the hard drive right now. It must be over fifteen gigs already because I had like fifteen gigs. Let's stop the here. Let me stop the, the OBS stream. Abe Shep. Abe, Abe Shep. Shep. Stop recording. All right. All right. We uh, recording? No, no, we're still on. We're still live. We just stopped recording the stream. All right. Do you want to answer this? Officially, okay, yes. You sleep with other women. But we fight about it a lot. <laughs> what we about? A, wait, wait. What about lot. him sleeping with other men? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if I... Okay, Kahan Ocean typed it. Oh, no, talk... He says I typed it three times. No, talk... oh. Wait, talk oh, about this real quick. <laughs> Wait, t- t- time him out for 10 minutes. Hold on. For, t- Come for back on, we need to... Back Would oh, you okay. even take a new girl or... Okay, would you even Yes, take I don't give a shit. I should have threesome in the past. Who I've, gives a shit? I've literally dated That's a good thing. prostitutes, escorts, strippers, porn stars. I don't give a fuck. No, if the girl's had a threesome in the past, that's great. She'll probably have a threesome with you. I've had, I've heard stories from hot girls. They're like, "Yeah, my ex boyfriend. Like, I brought home a hot girl to the house, and we were making out. And like, it was like he could have just had a threesome with us. And he like Freaked yelled out. at me and said, "Are you really gonna watch me cheat or, or have me watch, have me watch you cheat with this girl in front of me?" It's like, wow. And guys want to be getting fucking pegged by these hot girls these days too. What does the world come to? Have you ever gotten pegged? No. Fuck Would no. you ever get pegged? Fuck no. What if she asked like really nicely? No. What if she was like, John, can I please peg you? No. It would mean the world to me. No, but explain this. Like, so we, we have a, 
I've banged like almost 500 girls since I met Liz. And sometimes it's cool, but like, it let, like there's like trade-offs, right? So for the first two years, I didn't have a side place. So the, I was banging girls in the house and she had to listen to that shit and I would piss her off. Now I have a side place, but it still pisses her off sometimes because I'm out of the house a lot fucking other girls. And then I don't always shower like I'm supposed to do, right? How do you how do you time yep. someone out? How do you what give else? someone time out? No, you're not right click. You got to click the three dots. Yeah, there is a timeout. Put user in timeout. There you go. You're in timeout for being a fucking retard. You use this. Yep. Does Josh I'm sorry for get the paid? Oh. No, I've never been pegged. But like, if a chick wanted to, I, what I is might. this get pegged thing? It's where you wear a strap on and and have sex. Oh, okay. Yeah, not it's not my thing, but like if a chick was into it, I might do it. I don't fucking I don't know. I've taken a big shit before, so that's like being paid in reverse. You just club <laughs> hub to find other pickup guys, then you know you're at a good club. It's almost fucking one o'clock. In the let's go, let's go hang out. Let's go hang out with all the all the fucking. All right, later, homies. <laughs> it was bye that bye. E- it was that easy the whole time. That easy. Um. Okay. To recap, mm. our five day immersion starts tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we just have to be up and like, we have to start the program in less than eight hours. We're oh probably going to be hanging out for a while. It's um, crazy like, that you start this, this early. There's a lot to cover. Yeah, but no, guys, days. guys are paying a shit ton. We have to pack the. Dude, if I paid a shit ton, you'd like, be here at 8 30. I'd be like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We're going to be out late. I don't know if we're going to start that early every day. Yeah, I um, think this is a nice attempt for the first day and then after we <laughs> fucking go out. Yeah. Like, Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. All right. Say goodbye to all of our lovely. Bye. Goodbye, Thank lovely. You lovely very fans. Much. You guys I love are putting very that. Nice. I love putting that guy in timeout. Yeah, it is fun. Can I put someone else in timeout before we go? Yeah. All right. You. Oh, don't do this. Too. You are in timeout. <laughs> Boom. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Sorry for the Jesus one. Just waiting. <laughs> it's an expression. It's an expression. Look how nice Liz is. She's like, I'm so sorry, guys. Sorry for their behavior. We're just like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. All right. The sale is, is still live. Uh, we'll probably shut this down by the end of the day, uh, July 5th on the end of the day, Wednesday. Okay. So take advantage of that. At least go to the link, see what we have to offer in those products. It's $347. Uh, it's well worth the money. Put a lot of time into making those very good. Uh, we'll be live streaming more during this this week here in the mansion lots of pickup knowledge will be rained down i'm really excited we, we we got like two really high-end videographers that have filmed a lot of like pro athletes and celebrities and shit these guys are like really high-end um awesome. and they're gonna film everything the whole week okay all the student we're gonna do like student interviews before and after during the program etc cetera, etc cetera. um it's like nine really successful guys i mean the program's expensive as fuck so they have to be doing pretty well and i'm going to pour my heart and soul into getting them really good um and i do firmly believe that myself and josh and and connor are are the top guys to learn from like hands down we've seen and done it all we've devoted our whole lives to this for better or worse hopefully the better it's got lots of awesome parts liz wishes they could just be us and the dogs on a farm maybe one day the middle of my the suburb off. with a big lawn <laughs> oh my god and john would cut the lawn every sunday morning he <laughs> love that oh my I god i'm not cutting the lawn oh, of course it would be it would be great lives this live was dope good stream uh you want to go in the jacuzzi mm, let's bang it. in the jacuzzi um, let's bang into the jacuzzi. so well, let's go babe because right, we have go. to bang all right thank you everybody uh we will be watch watch youtube i'll be i'll be posting stories and shorts about our exploits uh during the week live here in miami uh i'll let you know if there's any run-ins with any of our our favorite circus performers Mm -hmm. that pretend to be dating coaches miami is like the fucking breeding grounds of all the fucking fake gurus there's like jay waller fresh and fit sterling cooper authentic betas what else <laughs> too many to count lip booger boy all right all right
Thank you guys. Thank Everybody you guys. take care. Take care. Signing out from Miami. Check out the uh, the product sale. And oh, also really quick, if you want to join my week program, get everything handled, go to platinumdatingsystems.com or book a free 30 minute call. Or if you want just a bunch of free content curated from the YouTube, go fill out the quiz in the description. Okay. Thank you, everybody.